recording. No, I don't think we've ever gotten Gearc in this one. This is that's a, actually a new bot that you just started using recently for your podcast, man. Yeah, it's just Craig, but again, it makes sure you have two instances of him. So that if one fucks up, you have another one. That's well, pretty cool. Yeah, that actually is a lot. Luckily, I got slobs open, so we'll have that backup and, and along with the Craig bot, which will more than likely crash in the middle of it. So, you know, I'm yeah, not really that's relying what Craig on that does. That's why, that's why we have Gear. Gear is usually the one that doesn't fuck up. <laughs> it's like the older brother that's on time and has its shit together, you know? <laughs> yeah. Craig so. is the younger brother who doesn't really understand responsibility and doesn't know the value of a dollar, you know? Right, right. It's still in its crazy little party phase. Doesn't give a shit. Doesn't care about others. It's a pain in the ass, but you love him because he's family. Anyway, so everyone. Specific. We're, oh, well, yeah, you know, maybe one day I'll actually get into those specifics, but today is not that day. <laughs> but anyway, so we're finally here after a few weeks of trying to get our shit together. Everyone's not sick anymore. We're pretty good for the most part. And that makes me happy. So, Riley, what's going on with you, man? Uh, not much. I'm, you know, having a good day. We're here. We're here for the 50th episode, you know. But uh, the question, the question stands, right? I thought about this. Is this really even the 50th episode? Because in well, the past, Mo has been very incompetent in numbering the episodes correctly. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. So in my defense of this, and you are completely right. Uh, this is the 50th, 50th official episode. Um, and, and, you know, I'll be honest with you. I'm probably just going to stay on YouTube forever because that's where I started. That's where pretty much every single fucking episode is. Uh, everyone else like bit shoot and all that, that we, I've had, uh, I've have problems trying to get all my shit on there. So, uh, you know, over the years, uh, over the last like few years that I've started this little thing, uh, I have lost a couple of episodes, a few episodes actually. So there are lost Mo episodes of the Mo or lost episodes of the Mo cast. There's and, the infamous uh, breakdown lost, lost episode. Oh, oh yeah. Dude. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So for those of you who haven't been here since the beginning, like I used to have to take this. Uh, uh, this antidepressant uh, fucking medication and my health insurance relapsed and I didn't have a doctor anymore because I moved freaking counties and fucking whole freaking cities, right? So I had to wean myself off uh, of it. And I, I did I, I did good up until the point where uh, my depression, which hadn't reared its head in like a year and a half, came roaring the fuck back with a fucking vengeance and I was a, a fucking mess. And so one episode, I sort of had like an emotional breakdown and I deleted all copies of that fucking episode. Yeah, that was and in the is... before times. Like, I don't even think me and Robin were hosts yet. I just think there was a bunch of guests and I happened to be one of them. And there was another one that really pissed you off. <laughs> oh, 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 God. The, there was that other guy. Yeah, because th there was one dude who was, uh, we would be talking, and then he'd interrupt me like an interrupting fucking cow, right? I'm right here! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 serious! I, I'm sorry! I didn't know, I forgot that you were right there, my bad. <laughs> no, but uh, he, the, the dude would interrupt me and, and say something to the effect of, weren't we talking about X? You know, like, I'm like, motherfucker, you will not interrupt me on my own show. To we'll fair, get to I've X. To you. Uh, yeah, but but I, I like you, so I, I let it slide a lot. But yeah, yeah, uh, to, to answer your question fully and truthfully, uh, there there are lost episodes. This is probably like episode in reality 54, 55 probably. But it's, it's I'm not going even up. talking about lost episodes. I'm just talking about the fact that even the episodes that do come out, you seem to be very bad at correctly, or correctly numbering them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I am, and, and one day I'll, I'll get around to unfucking up the the chronological order. That's like but the one thing I've mastered is getting episode numbers correctly. Well, in, my in problem casting world. Yeah, my my problem is I think I can do all my shit by myself, and I'm a strong, independent mode that don't need no help. 
and you know i i'm not as strong or independent as independent as i thought and i do need a lot of help <laughs> but you know one of these days i'll get my shit right but uh yeah i still haven't ever released that and this is a little tidbit for all of you who uh follow me on twitch uh me and uh, uh, uh me and riley uh, actually did a uh a video episode of the mocast and it is sat on my uh, hard drive because like three days later we did a, a quote unquote real episode of the movie. Wait, Mocast. that never came out. No, I I never what? got. Hold... <laughs> Wait a minute, I remember because... doing this episode. Oh, you do? All right, it's it's kind of because I, I I was barely like five minutes into it and I got real self conscious because I. I, I don't do live recordings very well, and because I uh and I oh do didn't this we number, didn't we Twitch stream it too? That was the thing. Yeah, we we, we did it on yeah, Twitch. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, it came out on Twitch. It just never got released as a mocast episode. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. Wait a minute, did I do that shit for literally nothing? But no, it was it was live streamed. Some people no, didn't watch it. And, <laughs> and and I still have it on my hard drive, and I will release it eventually, probably here in like a little while, probably next few weeks, because I, I do want to put that on, but. I, I have a problem where I stutter a lot when I'm nervous and live recording these things, and I do the dark side fill thing, which is, and I fucking, <laughs> and I get real fucking self conscious about. Like most of my editing is me, you know, editing myself out, uh, like my snorts out because my nose gets stopped up. Anyway, so I guess that's it, Riley, Robin. You got anything else you want to say before we start? Well, Robin, I guess we'll start with you if you have anything. I'm COVID free. You're COVID free, fucking a. I'm really happy that you're good because uh, Robin was sick for a little bit, and we had to delay the episode for a little while till uh, we got your test results in. And fucking a, you're COVID free. So I'm just really sick. Oh, you're just really sick. That sucks, dude. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, I'll, I'll talk about everything that's been happening in Texas lately. So. For the 50th time, a one, a two, a skiddly diddly adieu. Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome to the MoCast. I'm your host, Mo Diggity. And today, joining me, of course, for this lovely, this wonderful 50th episode is Riley. Say what's up, Riley. Hey, welcome to the 50th episode, everybody. I'm so happy to be here for the 50th-ish time, probably. Maybe. Yes, it, we should probably, we should probably, uh, uh, you know, like emphasize that ish, 50-ish part of the 50th episode <laughs> and uh also joining us today is the wonderful the talented the lovely robin say what's up robin it may have been the 50th skiddly diddly do but you do forget to do it pretty often i i do i do and uh, also joining us as a special guest is the one the only the mega talented mysterious kokono say what's up serious hey everybody now look i can't stay long but I did want to hop in real quick and say happy 50th episode to everybody's favorite boy, Mo Diggity. It's Aww. just cool. You and Riley and Robin hanging out and doing the show. 50 episodes is a lot. And it's it's cool when you put hard work into something. And then it's cool when people listen and it pays off. Hanging out with your friends, being funny, telling jokes. It's a good time. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is, man. And so, Ugh. you know, I just wanted to say happy, you know, happy 50th. It's real cool. And I'll chill for a little bit. It's just real late in New York, so I'm going to go to bed soon. But I'll chill for a little bit. All right, all right. All right, so, man, this last week, a week and a half, couple of weeks in fucking Texas has been absolutely freaking insane. My state tends to deal with just monstrous heat waves, oppressive freaking heat waves. You know, and we, we fucking deal with it Fuck just you. fine, I don't right? Hear your bullshit. I live in Florida. Shut your mouth. Yeah, I, I live in Texas. Most of my state's a desert, okay? Quit your bitching. So anyway, we, we, we deal with hurricanes like it's freaking nothing, right? You know, we'll shrug it off, you know, Houston strong, you know, blah blah blah. Fuck off. I live in the northeast. I don't want to hear about your hurricanes. 
<laughs> yeah, all right, you got me there, and I can't really challenge you on that. But still, like our, our hurricanes, when they hit, they, they hit fucking hard. And, you know, we we freaking soldier on through that, right? It gets a little bit cold, and we have to wrap our fucking pipes up and panic like fucking crazy. I went to my local HEB and my local Walmart. HEB, for those of you who are out of Texas and slightly north of Dallas, HEB is a local state, uh, uh, you know, a very uh, Texas-centric grocery store. And it's freaking... Its shelves were absolutely barren. I've never seen anything like that until after like a hurricane. And usually that just means that, it, you know, we're going to go without like some good food for a few days, maybe even a week. But this one lasted like this was sort of a reality check. You know, this was uh, it was freaking crazy. Like we've never seen the type of we ha we haven't seen this type of cold in almost 30 years. And I pressed X to doubt that that claim until I had a few people coming up to me. He's like, yeah, it has been about 30 years since we had that because I lived in North Texas uh, like a good portion of my life growing up. And I'm used to snow. I'm used to the ice and pushing cars, my neighbor's cars, my mom and dad's car out and like try to get a freaking start off because that's, you know, I live in the 80s, right? I was born then. Uh, but I had forgotten how bad the cold, how devastating the cold can be down here. Like I've had pipes busted. You know, like we had to uh, replace, we had to jerry rig a uh, little uh, a bit of pipe to the hot water because it was just pouring down the fucking uh, uh, wall, and it was just crazy. It blew I my mind seeing these people on like posting Snapchat and Instagram stories of their houses flooding, and and people not knowing to turn your water main off when it gets cold. I couldn't believe people just didn't know this. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's the freaking insane. What the fuck is a water main? Uh -oh. <laughs> exactly that. Exactly <laughs> that reason why that happened. You have to turn your your central like water system off so that way your pipes don't explode you when it gets too do cold. That? Yeah. Yeah, generally well, if you're a homeowner like not in a And you got to leave the tap on for a little bit to let it like drain. Yeah, see we we know to do that part. But we, uh, uh, my, my dad, you know, bless his heart, and he, he knew, he was smart enough to figure that out and know to do that. But we were out there for an hour and a half in that freaking very, very cold weather, uh, wrapping our pipes and all that. And I haven't done that in absolutely so long. The last time that I seen it uh, be almost this cold was when I was living in Houston, Texas. And uh, I had to walk to this little check cashing place to cash my freaking check. And I walked by, and someone in the apartment complex on the on a, on the way on the walk, uh, they forgot to turn off their fountain. The fucking fountain was almost completely frozen over with a little bit of water fucking spurting off the top, and it's just it was a very beautiful looking ice structure, but you, you could tell if someone's going to get fired in the morning after the owner fucking sees it. But yeah, uh, there was some real damage done to the state. Because uh, we were, it's. I don't blame the uh, the state's government, the state government for this because we didn't see this coming. We we know that winter comes and goes, and it's mostly spring, but it's mostly hot summer and hot fall. We're not used to uh, these frigid conditions like y'all are, are up in the north. But uh, no, yeah, but, yeah. but electric companies and stuff should be prepared for like natural disaster. Yeah. Uh, what, oh, what? Uh, wait a minute, uh, Libcock. It's hot in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> in Texas, a Texas hot. Come and blow all the electricity out as well. They should be prepared for any natural disaster. Texas hot, not cold. Exactly. If cold, how? How could you pause? Wait, what are you going to say? That all of a sudden we can predict the weather? How? With technology, meteorology. How about you shut up? You shut up and stop blaming Texas. I blame the windmills. <laughs> yes, the, the, fuck the windmills. fucking windmills. Yeah, it obviously. was the windmills' fault. I heard <laughs> that the windmills started going out of control and chopping up people's pipes, like that classic movie Chopping Mall. <laughs> Is that a real movie? Yeah, where that robot chopped up all those people. Well, the robot used lasers. I mean, there really wasn't Aww. that much chopping happening, to be honest. Was there but any the, chopping? No, I mean, 
we were lied to. We were like we were sold a dream. A false advertisement. <laughs> like I'm not gonna like we were we were lied to. I, I I'm up. I'm still upset about it to this day. But you know what I'm not upset about? Our innocent Texas state government who could not have seen this coming. And yeah, the government you know, could never do anything wrong. And you know what? Here's the thing. You gambled and lost people who were using, uh, what, what was it called? Chappy, chatty, gritty. People who were using gritty, like, oh, I've got a $16,000 power bill. How about you get? How about you kiss my sixteen thousand dollar ass? <laughs> yeah, just work yeah. harder and get more money. Work harder and get. You gambled and lost. You work Pull harder, up your you get bootstraps and work. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, we we definitely uh, lost on this freaking bet that we would not be affected by uh, uh, any kind of well. I mean, I guess I could say climate change, but you know, like I said, maybe it's because I live in North I, I'm Texas. I'm sorry. You're calling me a limb guck and he just said climate change? Do you mean climate lies? <laughs> is that what you're talking about? Climate change is just a way to, to transfer money from corporations to liberals. And it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's not real. It's fake. I, like I read online that it's fake. Liberals. Mysterious, I'm not thoroughly convinced that you actually believe any of the things that you're saying. I don't believe in climate change. You're right. (laughs) Good point. Thank you, Mo. Thank you for pointing out. Uh, Yeah, but anyway. uh, (laughs) So, yeah, yeah, we we were we were fucking caught woefully unprepared. And, uh, uh. You know, hopefully in the future we don't freeze to fuck half to fucking death again. And you know, this is just, we we have a cold front right now, and everyone on social media is telling us Texans, all right, guys, this is just a cold front. Don't go to freaking H E B or freaking Walmart yeah. and start don't ordering all prepare. the goddamn bread. Exactly, because preparing <laughs> is also a liberal conspiracy. Just, just. Assume everything will work out great. That's what I do. That's what you know I've always done. What's the best done. preparation? It's prayer. Yes, exactly. <laughs> have you ever considered going to? Have you ever considered praying for your pipes? Well, I mean, I, I went. Well, go oh, to God, church oh. and light a candle for your pipes. Light a candle for your pipes and give the electric and give the give the oil and power companies more money because they'll use it to create jobs. Maybe. Well, you know, Asterios, that that does remind me of when I saw the uh, the water pouring down the wall in my dad's workshop, and I was going, "Oh God, oh God, oh God!" Uh-huh. So you know, that was pretty close to praying. And then I it think. stops because you you, <laughs> you cried out to the Lord, and He came to your rescue. Yeah. Yes, God came down on high for on chariots of fire. You know. Uh, blah blah blah. Use your imagination. D and D horses and all that came down and just you know went squeebly babbly boo, and the freaking the pipe fixed itself. That's right. You know? Scatman God went squeebly babbly boo, and then your pipes are fine. He did have shades on. He did have shades on. Scat God squeebly he but said yeah. you're welcome, and then he left. He goes, change. yeah. Don't make me laugh. It's a conspiracy. It's just the liberals trying to control things so they can make money. What kind with, of things? There he is. Oh, what, what? Everything. They just don't like us Texans in our 10-gallon hats <laughs> pulling <laughs> gold out of the – pulling black gold. Texas this tea out of the ground. For the two of us. This town ain't big enough for me and climate change. <laughs> I feel like we're going, uh, we're, we're referencing a lot of Westerns now from back in my day. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, fucking, uh, oil well, was well, great was... for those Beverly Hillbillies. They got to move to Beverly. Remember? Yeah. We didn't hate it then. Oh, yeah, you know, everyone hates oil until they strike it. Then they're like, yes. I have lots of money. Exactly. Everybody I'm hates going to oil. Beverly Hills. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit, oh yeah. Oh, now. Lisa hates fossil fuels. Oh, but the moment they find oil underneath Springfield Elementary School, she's like, we can hire Tito Puente to, to, uh, to run our jazz department. You ever notice that? And then Tito Puente did come in, and he did, of course, have a, you know, 
he had a motive for wanting to kill Mr. Byrne. But then when he sang that fiery Latin song, when he was like, Senior Burns, burn in hell. Remember then Chief Wiggum was like, you're cool. Am I the only one that remembers this? No, no, no. Uh, he got off. He he stopped being a, a one of their big suspects because he sang and he uh, lit the fires of passion and uh, and whatever it is uh, under Chief Wiggum. And Chief Wiggum was uh, he was convinced. And, See. you know, and, you know, uh, Chief Wiggum is a, a, a virtue. He's a, a stalwart sort of guy mm-hmm. in the law enforcement community. So if you can convince Wiggum, hell, he can as are all anybody. in the law enforcement community. That's mm-hmm. right. All a cab. All cops are beautiful, baby. There's two B's in a cab. All cops. That's are right. All cops <laughs> are based. A cab. <laughs> a cab. Oh man, there was a freaking saying that went out the freaking window as soon as Biden was freaking elected. But anyway, I, I still uh, see a smattering of a cab on my Twitter timeline. It's still. Uh, once or twice, every 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 scroll, I'll see an A cab. No, nope. no. Nope. Now that liber- now that Biden's in charge, liberals love cops. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're all Biden they're, cops. They're all they're all part of Biden's secret cancellation police. <laughs> Canceling <laughs> you for having a different opinion. And you know who they love now? They love Chase. They're all like, now that Biden's in charge, Chase is truly on the case again. Wait, oh, who's the, Chase? the Paw Patrol dog, Chase. Chase. Paw Patrol dog, the most <laughs> famous Paw Patrol dog, Chase. Oh, He's on the case. God. Chase is on the case. Am I the only that... one that pays attention to anything? No, Chase. Try... He's on the case. No, I, I I do my absolute best not to watch my niece and nephew's freaking children's program because, quite frankly, all right, it kind of it kind of right, creeps right, me yes, out. Yes, Mo, yes, only no, cops don't know everything about Paw Patrol. Okay, yeah, liberal. No, cops. like. It, it was it was fucking crazy how that little police dog did get canceled for a little while and I'm like dude yes he did like what the hell is wrong Paw, with everyone yep. do you guys not Paw have Patrol lives was off or air. hobbies yeah Paw Patrol was taken off there that happened remember what it yeah. happened and uh, uh cops was actually taken off the air for a little bit but then it got put back on because mm-hmm. everyone really really likes that show yeah which I thought was kind of neat who needs really cops weird. you got live PD live way PD. better cop shows. I actually oh, had a school PD. teacher who had a beef with Live PD. I'm she really got stuck with by the police, and it was on Live PD, and she like sued them. Oh wow! What was the uh, it's what all was public the, uh, records? Problem? Uh, she. I don't quite remember the story. It's a little hazy. This is like three years ago, but from how I remember it, they like. I'm trying to f- fucking remember what it was. I know. They were like she was like in the parking lot of a of some sort of McDonald's or some shit playing Pokemon Go or something. Mm-hmm. And your teacher? She... Yes. Yeah, Riley's based teacher who loves Pokemon <laughs> My base Go. Pay Pokemon attention, Go Robin. Playing teacher, yes. Robin's um, Robin's base teacher who's on who's on Team Red and has to catch them all. Exactly. Fuck Team Red. <laughs> the team. Okay, no, don't talk shit about Team Valor, Robin. I will fight you. But Team anyway. Instinct all the way, dude. Is oh that the yellow god, team? you're one of those. <laughs> um, so those I guess what? We'll... Team Instinctors. Oh, you know. Yeah, like dude, you might as well be take, uh, talking Greek to me whenever you guys start talking about Pokemon. I, I tried once upon a time to get into Pokemon. It's just uh I it it, it fights it, it fights for space in my head. It fights the magic, the gathering uh, knowledge that I have. And my MTG side of my brain is just not having any of the Pokemon shit in there. Like, no, I started we're going to play a... Pokemon on your YouTube channel and you're going to learn to love it. I know, I know. I, I got to get with the times. It's like, you know, I, I'm kind of like a, a Kyle's dad from South Park. Eventually, I'll have to get an Apple account and have to get an iPhone just so I can get in touch with uh, uh, the rest of society. But until then, I'm going to enjoy my uh, Samsung Android phones uh, yeah. until I can't. Until Apple uh, fucking monopolizes the phone world and also just the world in general. It's too late. Well, check this out. <laughs> so I was I, I went and gotten another I got another phone the, the other day. I got a new phone, and I was getting the uh, S20 Ultra, and I mm-hmm. wanted the S2021, right? 
And they said the only difference in between the both of the brands that I won, the 20 and the 21, is that the 20 allows you to uh, upgrade your uh, storage yourself, whereas the 21, you can't detach it and, like, put yourself a new battery in there and everything. They want you to – it's a scam to get you to buy the fucking insurance so you'll so pay just a little exactly bit more. What Apple's been doing for years. Yeah, they're they're copying the iPhone because the iPhone started recently doing it, you know, in a bold move to fuck its customers over and to bilk them just a little bit more for just a little bit more cash. And I, I hate Which how is... that's becoming the the industry standard now because I like getting my own shit and just doing it real quick and just taking care of my own shit. Which of these the funny phones... thing. Oh, oh, go ahead, Asterius. Which of these phones lets me access the Fappening? Oh, all you know, like luckily Every the, the S twenty uh, really lets me access the fa the Fappening. Oh, yes. Have you guys heard about this Fappening? Yes, I've never I, heard, I heard of it. Is there I, a new oh. Fappening, or is it just the same? Oh, one? there's a Fappening, baby. The Fappening. Pictures of Chase got leaked. Chase oh, is God. on the case. Oh, the God. sex case. <laughs> <laughs> Chase in handcuffs. Chase. A stereo the yiffer. That's right, oh. baby. The yeah, happening. Chase. I've, I've seen some of the rule 44, 34 for Chase, and it is just, mm -hmm. it's oh, not anything that, that I. How did oh, you? He was, he was <laughs> on, on the case. case. Oh, he's I'm, on that case. I love being what. on. I, 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 Rob and I, I'm, I'm on fucking four chan a lot. So like, eventually, like, I'll be on any board. It can Wait, be any board. You're on Mo. You're on four chan a lot. Mo chan. Well, Mo. Well, Mo not, diggity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I am on four chan well, a lot. Why are you on? The, oh, okay. What? Tell me about. Tell me about the stuff you're seeing on four chan and how it's oh. influencing you. For example, what do you think of my friends in the Jewish community? <laughs> no, 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 all right, all right, hold, hold on a second, let, uh -huh. let me go ahead and, uh, uh -huh. let me elaborate, uh -huh. I, I don't go oh, to poll anymore. Anymore? I, uh, anymore? <laughs> oh, okay, no, like, it used to be just like a place where we could be, stop laughing! <laughs> no, it used to be, like, straight up, it used to be a place where we could just be edgelords and talk about politics, right? Yeah, but, well, like, we could just for, be anti semites Or about Jews? Exactly, well, no, it was you, just you a just... place for, where we could all just... We can be all just have a real gas. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 Riley. No. All right. Because yes. I know there's a joke somewhere. No. No. no okay. Like for real. Like assuming I there's not... a joke, there is the real thought. Is yeah. The... What's the joke there, Mo? Yeah. yeah stop what's trying to cancel joke, Riley. Oh, it. cancel culture's coming for Riley. Thanks to Mosif Diggity. Oh no, no most of the, you know, I'm marking this down at twenty six. This is not gonna see the light of day. <laughs> but, no, it better. Diggity. It better. If I listen to the podcast and this isn't it, I'm gonna cancel you on Twitter. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it better. Unlike that video episode you never released, even though Riley worked his little heart out on it. Oh, oh poor sweet Riley worked so hard. Oh yes, okay. let's all go ahead. Yeah, let's let's take Riley's side. Riley, <laughs> Riley, Riley. Boo. Wait, who's booing Riley? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, of course, the anti semite. Of course, it's Mo Diggity. Mo Diggitoni is himself. Nick, the hacker known as 4chan, known as Mo. <laughs> the <laughs> hacker known as 4chan. <laughs> yep. Mo. You know what's kind of crazy? How far is... are you falling? You know yeah, what? I, I you know, know what? You know what we need? You know what Mo needs? Less virulent anti-Semitism. Assuming that I'm an anti-Semite. No, hang on. Maybe he's just on 4chan for like, I don't know, like the lollycon or something? <laughs> yeah, are you oh, on oh, there no. for the child pornography? No, I am not. No, Let's I am not. not. But we can agree that lollycon today. is child porn, right? Let's we can all agree that lollycon day. is child porn. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's very extremely disgusting. I'm not going to get into the lollycon conversation for the 50th time. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, well, okay. especially because Digi canceled. Okay. So yeah, yeah, okay. Wait, we're 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 not we're not going to even talk about this subject. All right. Disagreement. Disagree. Huh? Conflict makes for good podcasting. When two <laughs> people have a difference of opinion, that's good podcasting, baby. I so, thought we. I thought we Riley, said. <laughs> why are you so racist? <laughs> <laughs> 
I yeah, think well, everyone should be equal, but I hear Riley's. I hear bad. I hear Riley has a different opinion. Are you saying there's genetic differences between the races, Riley? How yes. dare oh you, Rylus? <laughs> Rylus Brooks Potamus? How <laughs> dare you? I can't believe I would say such things. Poor I know, like that last ice. podcast, the loudest podcast, the things that came out of your mouth, or not the loudest podcast, the the, the yeah. largest issue in the galaxy. Yeah, Sorry. not the loudest podcast. The loudest podcast is based. And the bullpills. loudest podcast is the most based podcast on the internet. We're yes. based, baby! Has never once been racist against Italians. That, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's uh, it's uh, uh, based uh, in a stereos pill. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Look, I may, I may enjoy talking like Mario from time to time, <laughs> saying, call, saying hey to my various paisanos. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Captain Lou Albano himself. C- Captain Lou proud. Albano himself. John Leguizamo, aka Johnny Legs. Love <laughs> that guy. The, oh, um, you chill in the house of Logan. I noticed this, Mo, but I found out on Twitter that Bob Hoskins was dead very recently. I had no idea he was dead. Who's Bob Hoskins? Mario! <laughs> the guy who played Mario now, in the Mario movie. Now, oh, no who's anti-Italian? <laughs> Mo. Well, I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, 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 didn't about, I didn't know. I didn't added know. Added to like, most crimes. Damn they were it! Talking about like what celebrity they were gonna get to voice Mario in the new animated movie, and I was like, "Haha, what if they get Bob Hoskins?" And somebody was like, "Bob Hoskins is dead." And I'm like, "He is." See, <laughs> see, if if you said Bob Hoskins from like Who Framed Roger Rabbit or Hook, yeah, he's in that too. Also. I would have remembered that because I've only ever seen the Super Mario Brothers movie I think once, like once or or twice, and I was probably really stoned the second time because I laughed my ass off at it. It I'll is... tell you what I didn't like when he was like, "Hey, Paisanos, I only believe there's two genders." <laughs> oh I was like, God. "What?" Mario? I was like, it... "Mario, no, <laughs> it was... Mario, I thought you were cool and based." It was a different time back then. You can Who get away with saying stuff like that. I can't believe someone red pilling. Be, be sexist. From time to time. <laughs> okay, th- this is getting out of control, so I'm going to go ahead and rein it back in. And, no, and hold talk on, about- hold on, Mo, Mo, Mo. So you were talking Mo, about 4chan Mo, Mo, Mo. earlier. I was going to mention this. We got onto a little bit of a tangent. Oh, dear um, God. I actually got mentioned on a 4chan thread once. Oh, for really? Being, for being so cool? <laughs> if only, that's why. So- that's usually why people are mentioned on 4chan. They're like, hey, we found this cool guy who we're not going to make fun of. That's why yeah, they talk about Jews and black people so much, because they're so, really cool. Because so they love them. Is, so, I'm, I'm a young boy who makes some pretty shitty decisions from time to time, right? Yes, you do. Especially right? a year or two ago, when I was hey, very much a little boy who made dumb decisions. As and young people are wont to do. decisions is, I used to work a long time ago, like in the very long ago, mm-hmm. with a guy named Cameron. And Cameron, he's a fan of Pokemon. We used to make a Pokemon podcast together in the long ago, in the before times, until he disappeared. Mm-hmm. And we later found out he disappeared because he went to prison. For a... Okay, this guy sounds pretty based. <laughs> what did he do? Did he rob a bank? Did he do something cool? <laughs> Tell us about the cool yeah. crimes Cameron committed. Serious? You might not want to ride on that particular train. Well, I don't know why you'd bring someone <laughs> oh, up on oh. a comedy podcast unless yeah. it was funny. Yeah, yeah, tell the, the, me yeah let us know why thing. so that way I can ream a serious for avowing it. Tell yeah, me yeah, about the, the train, Cameron's the crime, hilarious the crime crimes. wasn't important. I wasn't even going to directly mention the crime, but now that I have to, you don't yeah, you might as well. Serious. You don't. Yeah, you, was, you uh, might. You might uh, as well because the train has already left the station and yeah, the conductor yeah. the conductor died at the controls. This train is coming whether you want it or not. So whoo, let's yeah. go. Uh, Cameron touched a teenage girl in a sexual manner. Riley! Why are you bringing this up? <laughs> Riley, <laughs> I wasn't how dare it. Riley? This is a comedy podcast. Riley. Okay, <laughs> Riley, it's a comedy podcast. Family Riley. friendly. But the 
the reason why it comes up, right, is um, it's because you brought it up. Uh, yes, that's <laughs> why I came it up. up. No one reason, was talking about the this reason story. why it's relevant to the 4chan thing mm-hmm. is because we they also get... like touching teenage girls on 4chan. No, <laughs> yeah, oh, but um, okay, but me and Cameron in the before times, before I knew of his dubious activities, um, we met in a community for a podcast called Blast Burn Radio, which is this nice Pokemon podcast. They do Pokemon Nuzlocks. They have a good time. Wait, so when Cameron said he had to catch them all, he was talking about, (laughs) oh, God, (laughs) Riley. (laughs) Riley, you just... It's really cool, right, (laughs) Asterios? Riley, you disgust me. Cool guy. Riley, how dare you. Cool crimes? What's cooler than that? Riley. um, we only talk about cool crimes on this podcast. Cool crime. Yeah, you know, like, you know, financial crimes, not like, you know, those Oh, like crimes. embezzlement. Whoa. Yeah, embezzlement, Whoa. you know, bank robbery. Nothing's cooler than bank robbery. Yeah, like Robin or Banks art thieves. indeed based. Yeah, art heists. Are you talking about heists? heists? Oh, whistleblowing? Oh. The whistleblowing's yes. hot. Whistleblowing's fucking hot. We talk okay, about but- heists, not things that would depress Jesus Christ. Don't you know the classic <laughs> rhyme? Okay. It's like you, but... it's like you've never heard the classic rhyme. Anyway, keep telling us about this pedophile. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. So once what he did came to light, he got banned from the Blastburn Radio community, obviously, for obvious reasons. Oh, he got canceled. <laughs> he hey really, how old were both of you? Canceled. Uh at the time or now? Yeah, at the time. At the time, I was 16, and he was, I think, 20? Uh-huh. Interesting. So there was a 16-year-old... He's so also was... very homophobic, so I think I was safe. Oh, oh it's okay, then. something in common. <laughs> well, okay, so I can see why you... Yeah, so he was, pr- so he was based, is what... Okay. <laughs> okay, yep. but... So, he got banned from the community, and... So he got out of prison, and he told the story about what happened to me because I didn't block him because I forgot to block him. It's <laughs> your fault he did those things, right? No. <laughs> mm-hmm, that's kind of what it sounds like you're saying. He, uh, well, no, okay, so he didn't block him so we could talk to him again, so that way he'd have content for a podcast in the future. No, but ba- okay, so basically what he said... Was is that... I'm a time wizard? <laughs> what he said that it was a thousand year old witch girl, so it's okay. But no. But oh no! Said... Oh my god! No, it's the classic <laughs> ruse. That's what he said. <laughs> what he... <laughs> That's what he said. What he actually said was that the girl made the moves on him, and he had no idea how old she was, and I believed him at the time. And well, of course that makes it okay. Of course, he didn't know. Ignorance and she made the of move. the law is based. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Ignorance of the law means you're innocent. <laughs> but um, he didn't say he was innocent. He just said I didn't fucking go and touch kids for fun. Here's what happened. And then when he got arrested again, what did he say? He didn't get arrested again. But here's here's what did happen. Okay, so I believed him. I started talking to him again. Mm-hmm. We, uh, You're just we like I just Pokemon really want this. Campaign I really want this homophobic pedophile in my life. Yes, of course. <laughs> yes. I didn't know he was homophobic until like more recently. But <laughs> you still talk to him? No, I actually. Are you guys I, pen pals? I very recently blocked him out of my life completely and entirely. So he is gone now. I have finally. What was the last straw? Because clearly it wasn't the homophobia <laughs> or him being a pedophile. We got to what a did very he? St- did he? Did you guys get into an argument about which we was got the to best a very starter? Stupid and no. I about a Pokemon did, thing. Yep. I of called course. it. I coconuts oh, called it a classic. <laughs> Okay. Classic Coconuts call. Okay, Classic was, Coconuts called it. It was we got into that argument, and then I realized, like, why the fuck am I putting so much on myself to keep in contact with this obvious scumbag when he's just an asshole? Hey, and that pedophilia was, is one thing, but Bulbasaur is <laughs> another. 
being on Team Bulbasaur is quite enough. Okay, but the, the, and you can never lose the argument either because he, he says this starter's better, and you say no, this starter's better, and he says no, 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 I think you're wrong, and you say well, you're a pedophile, and then you just win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're you're done. That's like the ultimate trump card right there. You're done. Exactly. Okay, to quickly Riley, loop the story back into four chan because right. I'm trying to wrap it up here. Mm -hmm. So, I made the decision to so I run another podcast with my friends, and they knew of him. Half of them I had met through him because they what the main guy who runs that show is actually who was a fan of our old podcast, and that's how we met. Um, and. I was going to start doing podcasts with Cameron again. And my friends, being rational, normal human beings, said, if you do that, you can't be on our show anymore. And I, being a stupid, dumb 17-year-old, did that. I left my show to go do a podcast with Cameron. So well, that brings the important thing is that you're talking about it. I mean, like, that's it. Like, if I did this, I would definitely want as many people to know about my bad decisions as possible. Yeah, so, I would like, go say it on a live I mean, there's platform. a public pod. The, those episodes are still out there. That podcast still happens. He does it uh, with well, other people now. And those well, episodes are still up. No, I mean, look, it's, look, the, what's the number one, what's the number one rule of making a mistake? Publicize it. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Give it all the puppet needs. Yeah, Riley, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you Riley. Tell a story about Four Chan and you're pulling. No, 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 no. Hold, no, hold no, on, no, hold no, on. No, you can't. Mm -hmm. Riley, you you had like a million other ways to say the uh, well, you know, the argument. It, it could have been like he was asking me. You he, he was asking you for money to buy GameStop stocks or something. Uh, you know, it could be like you know he wanted to do a YouTube channel where he can just like open the first edition uh, Pokemon cards. But no, you're you're getting in an argument about like what starter Pokemon you guys were doing. Are That's not what the argument was. It was it was it was about Pokemon. It wasn't exactly that. Well, come on, we gotta hear it now. Tell us the argument. No, Go, the, argument, no the argument. No details. Is the argument. Is I, relevant. It's relevant now. It's oh, relevant. it's very relevant. It's highly relevant. Okay, fine. I'll tell them. I'm just trying to tell a story about Four Chan. You guys are pulling me in eight. We days. need How the details. Is this related? Look. I'm gonna tell you. I need to give the background. Let's just okay. forget about four chan and let's bet, just deep dive into this. I'm okay, gonna fine. bet everyone on this call five dollars that he did not need to tell us all this stuff to get to whatever <laughs> point. He <needs> to get <laughs> to. <laughs> I'm not liking this bet because I agree with you. Yeah, yeah exactly. I'm gonna take that bet too. No. <laughs> anyway, Riley, go ahead, bro. Okay. But anyway, fuck you all, first of all. <laughs> Second, right. the argument was about a uh, Pokemon tabletop campaign. Okay. Okay. Was, I didn't know there was a Pokemon tabletop game. Interesting. Tell us more. It was just um, we had been running a campaign before, uh -huh. and we hadn't run it in a while, and I had been trying to get him to run it with me again, and... He wanted to start running it again, but he wanted to restart it. And I didn't want to restart it. And we had a big argument about that. And that's when I realized. And you play as Pokemon so trainers in this tabletop game? Yes. What level were you? Who are you usually at? like 10 years old? Well, uh, my particular trainer was 16 years old. Thank you. And most <sighs> the of ripe the age. Characters were. <laughs> Uh, anyway. What was the okay? Now nah, this is a serious question. Okay, was the issue that you were like, "But I'm level seven. I don't want to restart." No, the issue was like I'm en engrossed in the story we're telling, and I don't want to start again. Oh, and okay. just abandon it. I actually fucking hate that shit. Like, there's been so many TV shows and so many movies, like where you'll you'll get to a point it'll get to a point and then you'll find out that the network fucking cancels the freaking show mm -hmm. and then you're basically just left there with like you know blue balls you know the the, the ending is blue ball right in front of you every once in a while you'll get lucky and get like a serenity to your firefly but it doesn't really happen very often yeah and then wings gets nine seasons cancel culture how about cancel wings culture <laughs> <laughs> i'd actually be able to get behind that if we were still around. Hmm. Okay, but now that, that you show know about the argument that was mostly irrelevant. All right, now now tie it seamlessly tie it back to 4chan. 
Okay, so I rejoined this podcast that we used to do that Cameron wants to bring back. Mm -hmm. And me, him, and our other friend Bliss, we start doing episodes. And there comes to our attention a particular 4chan thread. Mm -hmm. It comes to my attention specifically and Bliss's attention that there's a 4chan thread where it's a guy who I don't know what thread it's on. I don't know what like board it's on because I know nothing about it. Just assume board it's board. probably on B. <laughs> yeah. So the post has a picture of the logo for Blastburn Radio, which is the podcast that we met through mm -hmm. uh, the community that I'm still a part of to this day and that he used to be a part of before he got mm -hmm. banned. And the guy's like, Can you recommend any good Pokemon podcasts? picture unrelated and then he says some bad the person in question says some bad shit about trans people <laughs> because there's a trans girl that's on based radio yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> and mary and was like now this i can get a behind <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah and look i look you, i don't agree with mario <laughs> and but. a lot of people are like oh he's from a different time oh he's from the old world and it's like well, times change, Mario. Beautiful. Get with the times, Mario. Yeah, get with the times, Mario. Anyway, so please yeah, keep so going. Yeah, so how I get mentioned on this 4chan thread after this guy says some transphobic shit about Blastburn Radio, people start, people in the replies start talking about In Arceus We Trust, the show that me and Cameron do. Mm-hmm. And singing the praises of Cameron along with me and our other co-hosts and talking shit about Blastbird Radio, which obviously I'm not behind at all. I was fucking appalled that my name got fucking name dropped in this fucking thread. And it was horrible. So that's my experience with 4chan. <laughs> Fuck 4chan. So well, your experience with 4chan was that People on 4chan were talking about how they liked your show. Yes. And this is uh, bad. You and they were saying transphobic stuff about, about this other like show, show, and you were upset that they were praising your show that you were doing with a pedophile. Yes. All right, I've got it all straight. <laughs> exactly. I, what I, I, you know, I, I got to say this whole segment, I, I just absolutely love the journey uh, that we've taken, <laughs> you know, just to... We were like, we're just going to talk about like this and that, but then all of a sudden, let's go ahead and talk about 4chan and like your uh, associations with this. Uh, uh, this I could have told knob. this whole story in like five minutes if you guys. Well, why didn't you? Well, yeah, questions. you, but you, you did not. You had that option. <laughs> you did have that option. Asterios, like goading you aside, you did have that option to do so. I wasn't but you didn't you take and it. And Asterios and Robin to all shut the. Fuck well, up no, whenever you talk to me. We always tell each other to shut the fuck up. It's like a fucking mainstay. It's like a staple in this freaking show. That's this show's catchphrase. <laughs> shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Classic. Hmm. Asterios, I have a yeah. question for you. I'm listening. Since uh, since you hate Italians so much, I like, do I, not. I, I gotta <laughs> ask you. I gotta I ask do you. Not. I got to ask you, do, do you uh, just like casually go, hello, it's a me? Or do you go out looking for go out looking for Italian people to specifically say that? Uh, he to? goes into every local pizzeria. It's a me. An like, do you, greet, restaurant. do you do you greet everyone like you're in a freaking old SNL skit and go, hey, it's a me. Where is the juice? The um, what? I, uh, he said the juice. J well, those but people. I, that's not what I heard. No, no, that's not what oh, I heard no, 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 no. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I don't, I don't need all of you to start saying I hate Jews again. Um, no, I, I said the juice. Like, there's, oh, well, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, it's not an Italian skit anymore. It's uh, it's Greek. The people. Greek guys. I'm fucking yes. stupid. Never mind. So I, I got my ethnicity. And it's very racist of you to, to conflate those two. Uh, I'll because check. Because he's right both, here. What? Just because they're both hairy, and they're they're both from the Mediterranean. They're both, well, they well both yeah, like, but you know that's like besides sex. the point. I'll check my privilege, you know, later sure. on after this after this episode. But do you but do you go, Asterios Coconuts? Do you go seeking out Italian people to say, to recreate uh, you know, Mario Brothers uh sound effects and, and snippets and stuff? Look, all I do is 
and I and some people call us offensive, and I and I'm not sure why. To me, I'm just it's just I kind of see this as a celebration of character. Like if I do walk into a pizzeria, I will start to you know swing my arms from side to side. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'll look at I'll look down at my watch and I'll go, oh hey, it's time to go do the Mario swing. Then do da ba do. But now I don't know the rest of the words, and I think that's where I've run into problems. People oh. are like, you're not, you don't respect our culture because you don't know all the words to the Mario. Yeah, like Disney. Yeah, I thought. It, yeah, I that's thought their everyone. That's national did, anthem, and you don't know it. I yeah, know. and you're in New York City, so you know it's like Italian. You know, Italy Central, Little Italy. Don't you guys that's have right. Little Italy there? Yes, we do. And you don't know all the Mario, uh, the the songs from the the ending song from the Mario Brothers Super Show. I never claimed to be perfect. Only one was. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Of course, right, that person right. is Robin. Hey, Robin. <laughs> what up, Please, Robin, sing us your rendition of the Mario song. Robin, Ooh. love ya. You know, I'm going to have to pass on that one, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it was a different time. That's all I can say. Twas a different time. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, on to, I guess, the next question. Who here has lost money investing in stocks because of the new stock market craze? I have I've lost hundreds. I lost. That's because you listen to every Zoomer that tells you to invest in anything. <laughs> I do. I just wanted to be cool. I lost eight hundred dollars invested in. Holy GameStop. shit! Oh, yes, game I buddy! Oh. I did. I. They got me with that whole like we'll stop the hedge funds thing. Diamond hands. I was like, I'll be a diamond handed. I'll be a diamond handed guy who sticks it to hedge funds. Now, do I know what a hedge fund is? No, no, I don't. I still don't. But are they behind everything? Yes. They're the reasons Main Street closed. Hedge I, th- fund I don't made know. Big I think. Money. <laughs> so I want big money to fuck with them. Yeah, exactly. I wanted to show those hedge funds, you know, that I could also be greedy and stupid. And I was... And I lost eight hundred dollars. And why don't you just buy some Bitcoin, Asterius? I bought Link. So then, Chainlink. So yeah. Did so you buy I had Dogecoin, two... though. No, I didn't buy Dogecoin. Thank God. So I had. So I bought a thousand dollars worth of GameStop stock, and I sold it. I bought it at two fifty a share, and I mm. sold it at fifty a share. So I have oh. two hundred dollars left. And then I was like, "What can I YOLO this into that'll make?" Me and my eight hundred dollars back fast, and people were like, "You gotta get, you gotta get into Chainlink, baby." And then, so I bought some Chainlink. My Chainlink's doing all right. I also bought Algo, which is doing terribly. I've lost half of my Algo stack, but I'm hearing there's a Roblox IPO coming up, and I'm thinking, "What? what I don't know Roblox? if that's real." I hear there's a Roblox. I hear the company that makes Roblox has an IPO coming. It's gonna up. be publicly traded. And I'm thinking I could maybe. It's going to be Roblox for real. I could YOLO everything I've got left onto Roblox. It's really not a bad investment, I don't think. They make a fuck ton of money. Well, see, Azumar said it, so now I believe it. I, they might be the number one kids' game, like Holding Strong, like besides like Fortnite. Well, wait know? a minute. Can we get Cameron on the phone to find out what kids like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he seems to be a really reputable source on the matter. To be honest, that actually wouldn't be difficult. Oh, yeah, like, let's pretend that it is <laughs> difficult. In, in fact, let's say it's impossible. I mean, yeah, it is impossible because I blocked him and I'm not going to unblock him. I'm done with that man. He's a talking. Yeah, it would be a really good bit. You should bring him in here. What a great bit. It, it'd be a funny bit, but it's not funny enough. It's not oh, funny Oh, yeah, I, I can't wait for Kiwi Farms and 4chan to, just, to single me out and you know, scream at me for having this uh, despicable person giving him a platform in which to spew his bullshit on. Yeah, I, I totally want that. I totally want that. That'd be great. I mean, one of your co-hosts has already done it. You know who else was despicable? Grew from despicable me and people like him. <laughs> so why not true. get Cameron People do like him. He's like the new Gru, baby! <laughs> Cameron is the new Gru! <laughs> uh, does he have, like, a bunch of, like, literal, like, uh, uh, yellow people? Who are like his minions, and they like. We don't say like yellow him. people anymore. That's racist. <laughs> That's... 
That's a racism. I, ap I apologize to the minion community for uh, disparaging them in such a manner. I will uh, check my privilege and uh, walk those comments back. We it's really cute that that's what he thinks Americans yellow people now. means. I'm so Does that mean take place in America? I'm just going to walk that part back and salvage that little bit. So <laughs> I don't want to get into that. I'm not going to get into specifics of that. And uh, yeah. So minions. Let's minions. go. Let's talk about minions. Let's do it. Oh, we don't really have to, actually. No, cause... we're talking about minions. Okay. I like Bob. King Bob, baby. King Bob. Bob I, I, rules. I, I don't I will they they... all have names. I know there's Bob. They all have, have names. names. That's the only one I know. Yeah, Bob is the one that becomes the canonical king of England. <laughs> okay. I will say this though, that like the the Minions movie, they did manage to overthrow the entirety of government of the British government, and just like completely take it over, and that's so hard to do. But they made it look so easy, mainly because they're basically what like in, immortal. Isn't that pretty much it? Immortality. I just like Minions because now I don't have to see like Snoopy or like Bugs Bunny or Donald Duck on those like shitty boomer memes on Facebook. You just see like a happy minion it's, it's a lot better ah uh, but what's better a minion holding a glock or bugs bunny holding a glock going like a going, minion going born to die i, I, I love <laughs> i love base bugs bunny i won't apologize for it yeah I, i'm on team bugs for this one base bunny pop pop motherfucker <laughs> jesus what's up doc yeah, exactly. What's up, Glock? And he's got like Say you what's know... up to this Glock. Nope. Oh man, the the nineties were notorious. Like if you went to a mall in the nineties, you can see several kiosks with uh like a, a copyrighted material. It's like printed on the uh, on the fucking shirt. Like one is like a uh, like Sylvester, like you know, praying to the cross. And then when they uh <laughs> And, and like you could tell that America was going through cultural phases, like when they went to their through their gangster rap phase. You know, Taz and Bugs would be like doing the the back to back fucking uh, salt and pepper pose, uh, with their fucking pants baggy and shit, and their hats backwards, backwards and, hat with chains and, on their necks, and and when the uh, the Mexican phase uh, happened, you saw those two <laughs> the same. Mexican Mexican no, it, it really phase. was. It really was a Mexican phase. Like people... Mexican phase. We're really seeing a new side a whole, to Mo today. This is a whole episode. <laughs> no, I didn't I went go through goth. The... Robin the went Italian. Phase, Mo went Mexican. We're, we're done with that now. Oh, no, bro. it wasn't racist. Everyone like it. <laughs> Everyone decided that they were going to dress like, you know... We like had that phase with the Mexicans, but then we built that wall, and we're all good now. <laughs> we're done with phase. those Mexicans now. We we built a wall. We got rid of them. No more Mexican phase. Well, for what I heard, like, we're keeping all of them in uh, <clears throat> overflow facilities now. Isn't that... <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, it is The happy little like encampment. Yeah, you know, it, like, a, it went from the same black, dreary building with fences with everyone going, please let us go. To that same uh, black dreary building with the smiley face on it. Y you know everything's fine now. Like didn't you guys hear? Fe having good feng feng shui is important, Mo. Oh yeah, you know, like that. That's that's what I want in my uh, uh, <clears throat> overflow facilities. You know, I want the couches and furniture to be arranged. If I was perfectly. locked up in a camp, I would want it to have nice scenery, nice decoration. I think we're skirting really, really close <laughs> to a really bad topic. So I'm going to go ahead and, and segue us from this uh, this thing that I started, quite frankly. I'll go ahead and take the blame for it. Uh, you Thank know, you. Uh, yes, 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 we'll, we'll, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and segue into that. and uh, We're segueing into it? Oh, no, segue into something else, my bad. Segue double down, baby. Riley, shut your ass up. I don't want to hear a damn thing out of you. Hey, it's the catchphrase. No, shut the fuck up. It's the catchphrase. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, come on. Oh, it's a, it's a spin off. All right, so it's been all right. So let, let's do something a little bit. Weren't uh, other people supposed to call into this show? Yeah, yeah well, I'm the only one here. Where's yeah, everyone else? 
I don't know. They're they're fucking go- they they haven't showed up lately. I put in a bunch of things. Everyone said they'd show up, but I think everyone got drunk and passed out because I I live in a a different time zone than everyone else. Well, but, um, I guess only Mo's true friends showed up, like Asterios Coconuts. Yeah, couldn't have said it better. Asterios couldn't have said it better. Maybe yeah, exactly. Because Mo, maybe, you know, I'm just saying. Where oh, there could be a big party for the 50th. Oh, all these people calling in, and it's just me with my thumb up my ass, and no one wants to hear me. Well, well hold, hold on a sec. I didn't say. Haven't you had seen to put the four chan threads? Haven't you seen the four chan threads about me? They are not big fans. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, have all of us here had a four chan thread about them? No, I mean, thankfully, I don't know I if have Robin not. has yet. Well. Robin, don't go yep. to 4chan right now because I don't think you're going to like what you see. And then <laughs> she, lo- and then she logs on. And then it says, like, Robin, pretty cool girl. Then he posts it on poll and all hell breaks loose. Robin, pretty based. Well, guys, <laughs> speaking of based, it's uh, it's uh, based, based on, on my what? time zone. It's like <laughs> oh, 1 a.m. and I got to go to bed. But Mo, happy 50th episode. And Riley and Robin, it's cool of you to support your friend Mo. Hang out with him and do the show with him. And I here's to fifty more episodes of the Mo Cast. Fuck yeah! Mm-hmm. Hell yeah! All right, good night, everybody. Bye bye. Night, serious. Night night. Oh, oh, that was fun. That was fun. Uh, all right, so it's been a little bit since we've been around. Uh, uh, Riley, we'll go ahead and start with you. Uh, what have you been up to? How's life treating you? Uh, it's been all right. Been, you know, working, making money. Fucking, uh, I don't remember how much of this arc made its way onto the MoCast with our very spattering recording schedule. But uh, without getting into specifics about the companies I work for and represent, I got moved in within the telemarketing building I work in from one program where I was outbound calling and selling to another program where I was receiving inbound calls and selling and selling things also. And you made less money, first of all. And second of all, you took a lot more fucking calls in a day. And it was overall just much worse. And I fucking so you got to it. my life. So that happened for about two months, and then they moved me back to where I was before, and I'm very happy about that. So I'm in a much better mood just in general in life because that happens, and I don't have to do this dumb bullshit for less pay anymore. So that's a good thing. And then, you know, I've been playing playing video games, having a good time, living life. You play video games at work? No. I wish. Mm. Are you allowed to? No. I, I mean, bet, if you're like still, I bet I could convince them to let me bring a Game Boy in because Game Boys can't record anything. But... <laughs> That's true. I meant on your computer. I assume you have a computer. Uh, no, you can't access anything on those fucking computers. They, you can't even That's open lame. the browser; they'll kill you. Maybe it has Solitaire and like downloaded though. <laughs> Maybe I'd have to look, but um, no, yeah, a bunch of people. I'm pretty sure people literally got fired because they figured out they could open up fucking uh they could open up the web browser and listen to music we're not oh, supposed no. to be able to do that and they figured out how to do that and people got fired over it i'm pretty sure yeah you know it's i think it's a really bad i like if you're not supposed to be able to do it and you like undermine their uh their their security like you probably like open them up to some other like to a whole host of other vulnerabilities and I, I think you do oh, yeah, deserve to get fired job. because We're of that. Taking that's, fucking you're credit fucking cards. stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's fucking stupid. You know, you, you shouldn't do that. You should freaking know better. Yeah, there's a reason why there's security. It's a sales job. We're taking people's credit card numbers. You got to have security around that kind of shit. Right, right. Which, like, you could just remember the number, though. I mean, yeah, I guess if you have a photographic memory that it's fucking game set and match. But they don't want you to have fucking recording devices on you or have fucking. I, I think the big problem is like if you yourself. use it, you're gonna get caught immediately. True, that's very true. Or maybe you use it to make a bunch of purchases and then you change your name and move to fucking Canada. You know. Your famous lawless Canada. 
<laughs> yes, Canada, funny. where yes, the the wild wild north, as it's known all over the world. You know, you become where, Johnny Smevlin, who lives in Canada. You know, go to Canada in the in the wild wild north. You There's can get away with be anything. Somebody named Johnny Smevlin in Canada who's going to be on a government list because I said that. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, eh? But you know, you can kiss my ass, you son of a bitch. You ruined my life. Oh God, imagine that shit, right? We inadvertently ruined some people's fucking life. We 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 ruined the life of Johnny Smevlin from Canada. It's like, gets... sorry, Johnny. <laughs> uh, Robin, how have you been? How's your life been since the last episode we've all done together? Well, I got sick, and uh. Took some time off work because I hadn't done that in like over a year. And then we have like a group text where, uh, I don't know, like important shit comes in for work. And they were like, hey, give a call to this boss when you get a chance. He wants to talk to everyone by Saturday night. So I give him a call and he's like, oh, I'm at my other job right now. I'll give you a call later. I hope you feel better. And I was like, okay, just let me know when you're free. And then he never called me back. And he gave me my schedule. I'm working uh, Friday and Saturday this week. So I've got quite a while off. Uh, and then I get a text today. And the text essentially said, like, hey, so we're not your bosses anymore. We sold the business. Uh, you can report oh, to this wow. guy now. And so I text my old boss. And I'm like, hey. So, like, I I was kind of looking for work somewhere else. And I wish you guys would have let me know ahead of time so that way I could you know not accept the offer to work for this other guy to, hey, no is this shit, like right? finalized now and they're like yeah it's final if you want to quit you're going to have to talk to him now and I'm like okay that's kind of shitty <laughs> damn they really did you dirty on that deal huh yeah. I mean, like they kind of sold you off like they were you were their fucking like property. I'm part of the business like I'm, yeah I'm like a chair He's like, yeah, here's the chair, here's the keys to the place, and here's Robin, you know, yeah. You, you, you and all the other the, employees. Yeah, you, you, you poke them with the stick every once in a while, and they'll all pop, you know, perk right up and start working again. Sometimes you gotta yell at them, because they'll just lollygag around. Well, <laughs> it's the old American tradition, the slaves come with the property. When you buy the property, they come with it. Uh, it sure fucking feels like it, man. So now I... I... If I want to quit, I have to talk to this new owner. So it's just kind of weird. And now I'll have to get a tax form from him next year for like the two days I work for him, which will be fun. Uh, that's a pain in the ass. Like I, I had to track down this uh, fucking sandwich place that I worked <laughs> at, at in Houston for like two fucking days, right? It was my first job, and I, I worked it for a couple of days, and then I got a call from a much, much better job because I was uh, looking for work like crazy. And I, I fucking called up my boss and said, hey, bud, I'm sorry, not making sandwiches anymore. I quit. Bye. And it turns out I had to get a fucking, uh, like, you know, a, a W-2 or a tax form or whatever from this freaking guy, and I couldn't remember what the fucking name of the place was. And I happened upon it quite randomly while I was coming to pick a friend of, of their of mine up at their little job. I was like, wait a minute, that's the fucking sandwich place. And that's how I got that. And I got real lucky, too, because apparently the IRS bitches at you if your shit's in, uh, inaccurate. Well, they bitch at you if your shit's inaccurate and you owe them. If they owe you, they're not going to bitch at all. Mm, yeah. All right. I think it's that time of the episode where I had sort of a little bit of a, of a prepared statement. And I just want to talk about, you know, like how... Is this about all the racism going on? Oh, uh, like completely, completely. I have some things I need to confess. Uh, you know, I just want to preemptively apologize <laughs> because, you know, I'm going to have a lot of shit just that's about to come out. You know, you guys don't uh -oh. think of me any less, you know. But anyway... <laughs> No, nah, uh, so about, I, I guess about 2018, I decided 2000, like late, late 2017, maybe early 2018, I decided that I was going to go ahead and start a, up a little podcast because I listened to a lot of cool shows and I was thinking to myself, you know, it'd be kind of fun 
to maybe record myself ranting and raving like a fucking lunatic every once in a while. Maybe I'll get that Alex Jones money or something. And well, obviously, I, 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 di- I recorded myself doing that, and I sounded like a deranged fucking psychopath. <laughs> and I, I, I quit. I dropped that shit uh, real fast, and I decided, you know what? Why don't I do a more traditional kind of comedy, kind of like talky sort of podcast, you know? That way, you know, I can do one where it doesn't sound like I'm a deranged lunatic. Uh, uh, spouting off like crazy ass opinions that you'd only find on the internet. So it started off like kind of droll, and I finally got I finally got to the point where I can get at least forty five minutes worth of content out. Boom! Then I started getting really involved in the community, and I got Crippled Jesus on, and we had a really good time, and we all oh. like an, and we 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 got like an hour and a half worth of content. So boom. I uh, talked to ASC Riley, and we had a great couple of shows together, and he turned me on to this uh, person called Robin, one of our co-hosts. And Robin has been with me since, I think, episode, I think, five, maybe six, maybe even slightly before that. Do you happen to remember at all, Robin? No, I don't, I don't remember the episode numbers at all. Ah, all right, cool, 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 because I, I fucking don't either. And that's completely fine. And, uh, you know, so... Uh, me and Robin, we just started doing this show together, having guests on every once in a while, and then there was this freaking kid. He would just keep mm. going on and on and on, and you know he'd start like participating a lot and uh, getting pretty much getting on every single show that we did, just about every week. And that dude's name is Riley. Riley is the epitome of the squeaky gre- uh, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. And so after he was just harassing me nonstop, going, can I be a co-host? Can I be a co-host? Can I be a co-host? I finally screamed out, yes, you can be a co-host! And okay. thus, Riley is a part of the show now, and he's Listen. been a great part of the show ever since then. I'm being heartfelt! I'm being heartfelt, <laughs> and I'm trying to bear my soul here, even though I spent like a good like 45 minutes on the l- largest issue in the galaxy the, that we just recorded like a couple hours ago. And I said, like, yeah, men shouldn't really have so much fucking feelings. It kind of gets in the way of, like, uh, the logistical side of running the world, you know? But anyway, you know, I'm trying to bear my soul here. You know, since then, uh, Riley has been a, uh, such a, a wonderful and great part of the show. And uh, it wouldn't be the MoCast with, without either one of you. Yeah, I can, like, record an episode with, like, one of you or the other if one of you can't make it, but... If either one of you decided to quit or something, like, I don't think this show would exist. So, uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you both. I really do appreciate you guys putting in the time uh, to to make this show happen. And for for y'all to put up with my shit. Because I, I know that I'm probably not the not the easiest guy all, always to get along with all the time. But you guys put your best foot forward. And I really do appreciate it. Yeah, it's always you fun coming up. Have a time up. or two talk shit, but at the end of the day, we're we're still we're still homies and we're still making this show. Well, you know, if you ain't talking shit to your buddies, you know, you're not really friends. True. Very. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. But uh, also, so part two, this little prepared statement that I have. If you guys will just bear with me just a little bit longer, listener, I applaud I... you. Hey, no. d- what? Sorry. I am trying. I am trying to bond with the listener here. No, I know, but you said you were talking about like the origins of me and Robin joining, and I just wanted to say a small little thing regarding. Oh, are you going to correct the record on me? Are you going to no, do not, that right now? It's less correcting the record and more just telling like my like what happened, right? <laughs> so. I'm not, right, right, to, like, I'm not trying to like. I'm not trying to Court is now in session. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just trying to say a story, okay? So I fucking, you know, I I find Mo through like you know various like dick show Asterios related communities. Somebody you know, posts these podcast. links in every Discord server, and <laughs> they just pop yeah. up everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, and I, I never and I never heard Riley ever come up to me and goes, Hey man, everyone's getting kinda of pissed off at you for like hawking your shit constantly. <laughs> They're like, dude, 
I, I fucking have like about a, it feels like a million uh, spin off dick show and Asterios freaking Discord servers, all with their own podcasts. And they have a, a hawk your shit tab. And so, like, I got to do that, but I, I kind of forget that the, the same, like, 20 people are active in all these millions of fucking podcasts or all these fucking Discord servers. So I, I, I guess I can be a little bit obnoxious uh, with, with my hawking of my shit. But, you know, squeaky wheel, grease, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, continue. But, yeah, so I find the Mo server, and I'm like, hey, he does a podcast, and the call is open. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to be on his podcast for funsies, for the good times. And then I did that. My first episode was, uh, was I believe it was called MoCast Tonight or something. Like, it, it was the one with the Pikachu in the thumbnail and, like, the, I believe, like, the, <laughs> was it the Twin the, Towers? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was, uh, I was, I was listening. I, I can explain that thumbnail, actually. I was listening to a lot, a lot of Black Flag because I was super, super depressed and I was feeling... Uh, my, my my old teenage and early twenties angst was starting to rear its its mediocre head in my forty year old body. So I was thinking to myself, you know, how can I put this Pokemon, this guitar, and, and have him play a guitar, but then have something edgy in the background? Oh, I, all right, I can have the, the two twin towers. twin towers, and then it's it's fucking it's it's Pikachu playing a fucking guitar in the background. And I named it the TV, you know, TV party tonight in reference to a TV party by Black Flag. So that's the story of that thumbnail. Yeah, so that was my first episode, and I just kept coming on. And I actually remember, like, it was an episode of, like, a Let's Play I was doing on my YouTube channel. Like, a shitty, like, recorded on my phone Pokemon Renegade Platinum Let's Play. And I, the same episode where I talked about how I smell like old popcorn... <laughs> I, I was like, because <laughs> I was just like, this is before I got a job and after I was done with school. So I would literally go like, I was very depressed at that point in my life. And I would go like weeks without showering. And in this Let's Play episode, I was just talking about how I was developing like sweaty gamer smell and how I smelled like popcorn. And I also was like, and a side tangent was like, I like this show called The MoCast. I'm just going to keep going on it until he inevitably kicks me off of it because I just keep showing up. <laughs> and then um, I remember what actually happened was I don't remember like pestering you about becoming a co-host, but I do remember that I was there and when you crowned Robin as a co-host. And I was just like, wow, OK, uh, the, the, looking at me, I'm, I've, I've been here every episode. And you over here crowning Robin as your co-host. <laughs> I, I do remember that happening. And then you were like, oh, you want to be a co-host? And I was like, yeah, bro. And that's what happens. <laughs> now I'm here. I think I might have done that just to fuck with you. Made Robin <laughs> the co-host first. Just to fuck with you a little bit. But no, nah, but it, you, you've never uh, like pestered me a day in your life, man. So I, I really do appreciate you. Like I said. Uh, you know, you guys coming on and making this show happen. It's been a ton of fun. I have talked about subjects I never thought I would ever talk about. We've, we've made uh, some real mundane fucking topics like drinks. Uh, w that was one of our best episodes. I Holy think. It's, shit, it's the drinks the ones... episode. I yeah, it's definitely... about that. It, it's it's definitely one of my uh, one of my favorite uh, uh, episodes of the show that we've done. Or, or, nut baby. <laughs> Nut baby, baby, Jesus Christ! That that yeah. The, the first two Asterios episodes were were real weird because like I, I know that there's a bit this here, one, this but this is the good Asterios episode. This one, right yeah, this here. is the fucking great Asterios episode. Yeah, we, we've definitely come a long way since that one. But uh, let me go ahead and pump out this uh this last little bit, and then we can get on and uh. You should rephrase that a little bit. Okay, <laughs> pump out the last little nut baby. Oh no 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 oh, no! Not, we're not pumping out any nut babies here. Not not on this show. Okay, let me go ahead. Cameron shop. Oh Jesus! Hey, let's. I didn't mean to shit talk the man too hard. Like we split amicably. Okay. Yeah. Well, all right. So <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just going. I want to go ahead and just segue and just sail I away. Him, you know? I'm done with him. I'm not going to talk shit. I don't. I'm, I'm not the kind of guy who just sits and talks shit about the people I don't like anymore. I blocked them. I'm done. We're moving on. 
I feel like Journey, and uh, this is the song, Come Sail Away, as in that's also the action that we should do. <laughs> we should come sail away from this. Yes, uh, please from, do. From this, from, from this topic. And just I go don't think this. that's Journey. Come oh. sail away. Come yeah, sail wait, away. Wait. Okay, you're you're yelling over me. Hold on, um, fuck, that's not yeah, that's sticks. Oh, that's fucking stick. God, that band sucks. I, I'm I'm sorry, <laughs> like you know, I, I I don't even like that song. Come sail away, like the come sail away fun- song is great. No, the come sail away song fucking blows. Okay, and here's why. Journey's it great. Was, it was funny when uh, Cartman from South Park did that joke the one time in the one episode. But then everyone decided that they loved that joke and that fucking song because of that episode of that show got freaking revitalized because I've never heard that song once until that episode and everyone went full on fucking nut nutters for it. Nut baby. Nut baby. They went full on nut baby for it. Journey's okay, though I don't know really shit about that band either. I, I've known I've heard some songs from them. But yeah. Anyway, uh, let me get past this one little part here. I want to go ahead and thank the people who uh, who listen to our shit, who click on the fucking YouTube links and the Anchor.fm shit, who supported the YouTube channel and, and all of our Twitch, you know, whenever we uh, go and live stream on Twitch or YouTube. Uh, thank you all for all the support. I really do appreciate that. You know, it's it's uh, it's really cool to see, like, people like Robin a few some weeks ago uh got uh, got referenced like someone went is someone went uh yeah this is robin and she go they go robin you mean like from the mocast so like <laughs> we're we're awful. fucking going places yeah i never thought i'd ever see something like that so to you the person who's listening to this thank you so much uh we i think we all i think i speak for all of us when we say when i say uh we all appreciate y'all and thank you huh. all right we're at an hour 20 and i think we should start wrapping this up here are we uh, gonna talk about like, like our memories or something you did as part of your speech but me and robin didn't really unless it happened in the well, five minutes well that I was you, gone. you did have uh you did sort of like a uh, talk about the memories uh just like a few minutes ago like you know when you were uh totally uh, correcting the record on me and making me I look to talk like, about memories like I was of, like, stupid. Me being on the show, though. Not okay, okay, of, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We we can do that since you, you've got to insist on doing that, even though I told you in the previous uh, uh, the pre meeting that yeah we were going to do that, and I'm you know I guess I just got impatient. So uh, this is Riley, the episode fifty. It can be two hours long if we want it to. It's a big it's a big boy. It's a big show. It's a milestone. Also, your friends here, Mo. You just yeah, got here. I, I saw him. Yeah, yeah, Mo Diakiti, the the person who like stole my identity, and you know, stole my username and stole my fucking profile pic. And what what he did was he slightly enlarged the job of the hut picture that I use in mine, and he just slightly enlarged it and then posted as his. And every so often he will just leave harassing comments saying I'm the real Mo Diggity. Or just fuck with me <laughs> uh, on here or social media every once in a while. He is so the true. that's fun. He's the true Mo, the one and only. No, I am the true Mo. For there shall be a battle of Mo's at the end of time and the Mo- Highlander Mo style. Battle. Yo, dude, like will, I, I'm the the apocalypse will come and the only survivors will be people named Mo and they'll have to battle for supremacy. Yeah, you know, it's it's pretty much Highlander rules at this point. Uh, Paul, we can't hear you. Yeah, I see a circle lighting up, but I can't hear him talking. <laughs> I love technical issues when you try. Uh, that, that's that's something that makes me a spicy. Let me talk about that real quick. Is oh god, <laughs> to, fucking Discord technical issues. Like, can we please fix this goddamn app, please? Oh man, I, like, it's unfixable I, I know... at this point. I know that you guys love jacking off to cub porn and furry shit, and you're uh-huh. like the, the you're the degenerates, degenerates. But oh, yeah. you can you can find just a skosh of time, and unfuck this app up, please. It's a really great app, and it would benefit so much from a little bit of TLC and some fucking you know so, some 
some fixing. You know what I mean? I won't get all like technicalese on y'all because I am a encyclopedia, you know, I have an encyclopedic knowledge of all things computation. So, uh, yeah. And a, and a full command of the English language. Yes, a full fucking command. I, I want to reiterate that. I want to emphasize. You can hear him a little too well point. now. Yeah, yeah, oh, I, I, yeah. I turned him down. I turned Sorry. Him down. Sorry, honey bunny. No problem, baby. No problem. Sure. I got a new yeah, oh, your look sounds good. Oh, that's good. That's real good. <laughs> that's really, really good. Good job, Robin. Good job. <laughs> I gotta turn him down before he fucking blows my eardrums out. <laughs> uh, hey, Paul, how you doing, bud? <laughs> Sorry. I this got is a the th I got oh, a new go microphone and. Uh... I'm still unfamiliar with how sensitive it is or is not. Oh, cool. What kind of mic you get? I don't know. Some cheap Chinese shit off Amazon. Tonor. T-O-N-O-R. <laughs> it's like a fucking knockoff of like Yeti. or like, It's like, this is not the blue Yeti. This is the green yet. Honestly, it looks like um, from here, it kind of looks like the cameras that you would expect to see in a low budget 1980s porno. <laughs> Oh, well, so far, I hear you pretty well, so that's that's good. That's good. Yeah, well, hopefully, hopefully nobody's getting shit in their ears. No, nah, I'm, I'm good. I got you turned down pretty well on my end, and you're, uh, you're coming out pretty good on the recording. All right, cool. All right. Good job, good job. So, Mo, I don't know if you know this, but before he died, uh, Micah sent me some audio cassette tapes. No shit. And on one such audio cassette tape I have here with me, uh, I have your narration of the Mo Forty story. <laughs> what is the that? Mo oh God! <laughs> yeah, that, that fucking Forty story. The Forty story. Oh my God! The very, very first time I ever got drunk. Yeah. We got some vintage God. Mo ma Mo action here. Oh, it's. Oh. Oh it, yeah, it's great because it's just like real life now. Because in the like five minutes preceding it, it's just me bugging Mo to tell everybody the forty story, and he's like, "Dude, no, I don't want to tell it." And I fucking pressure him into telling this story. Yeah, yeah. Like here, here's like something that y'all probably know about me if you interacted with me enough is that I buckle like a fucking ton of bricks, you know, on like enough pressure. If enough pressure is applied. You know, I'll just fucking buckle like fucking crazy. Like Not a poorly built more... bridge. Yeah, like a poorly built bridge. But I'll I'll still stand. But you know, it's it's uh it's poorly built. I know it's flaws, but it's it's still there. You can still use it. It's all reliable. Anyway, so Riley, since you want to discuss memories and stuff, uh, Riley. regale us with uh with tales of memories of the MoCast. There are a lot of great memories associated with the MoCast. Like, this show, I do a lot of fucking podcasts. Like, that's no secret. If you, I, I plug all my shit at the end of these episodes and the fucking mm -hmm. list goes on. But the MoCast is particularly special because I, I, there's a lot of good memories associated with it. And just a, I, I really appreciate Mo and Robin as friends, and I enjoy doing this show with them. Uh, this show, actually, it's funny. You guys know this if you're longtime listeners, but this show is actually the reason why I fucking watched the original Star Wars movies. I had never watched them in my fucking life, and I watched them to talk about them on the fucking MoCast. <laughs> oh, man. Now, now, that episode was basically... All right, so let, let me give you a, a TLD, a DW, okay? Uh, it was basically Robin T and I... TLDL. Oh well, yeah, oh Long shit! All right, thing. all right, yeah, yeah. Well, well, well. Anyway, fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking in my forties. Okay, I don't remember shit was so, so well anymore. Anyway, uh, it was basically Robin and I screaming to the heavens. You, don't you have any kind of theories or like you know feelings at this spot? Like it was basically just us, uh, the both of us, uh, 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 uh recounting our uh positive Star Wars, uh, memories. Uh, of the movies and how he felt and all that and 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 riley and i was just like fuck it's all right it's, it's fine. okay I, I, liked how, 
I guess I like that one fucking part, and we'd lose our fucking minds going, you've got to have more than just that. It's kind of like he, he, he And you also, know, we were... my ranking of the three movies was, like, fucked up compared to the usual and to yours. Which, well, in case yeah. any of the listeners or you have forgotten, my ranking of those movies was... The third one was the best. The first one was the second best. And the second one that everybody loves was my least favorite of the three. Oh, oh that that stings. That stings. It burns the fucking soul to hear you <laughs> say that. Even though I, I fucking love like all three of those movies, but it's it's it, it's two, one and three. But like they're it's fucking awesome, fucking excellent and the best. There, there is no bad like first, you know, first three Star Wars movies. It doesn't exist. The third one had the only good lightsaber fight. Okay, the only entertaining lightsaber fight in those three movies was in the third one. I like what? What the fuck are you babbling on about? Like it, it, episode, uh, like they're just the, the rubbing, episode... just, they're, they're just rubbing glow sticks together. There's no fucking choreography. It was. The I, I'm 70s. pretty sure their hands are empty. Yeah, it was actually the the way that the uh, lightsabers back then worked is that they had they really did have glorified light sticks, and because of like editing at that time, they had it to where they could uh, insert light like in post production, and that's what uh, made them uh, the the lightsabers originally. In, and that's why the they always thing. like push against each other and never go for like swings because if they swing, they're gonna like overshoot, and it's not gonna look like they actually hit anything. So they're just slowly pushing against each other. Now, in the second movie, Empire Strikes Back, though, I, I thought that they, they did a much, much better job of the lightsaber fights. Uh, yeah, how many lightsaber fights were there in the first movie? So, Sorry, Robin, what'd you say? How many lightsaber fights were there even in the first movie? There, there's Obi-Wan oh, and Darth Vader. Yeah, and that's it, right? Yeah, yeah, because, like, you know... Obi-Wan and Darth here... Vader rubbing their glow sticks against each other's. Yeah, but that's what I like to see. But in the, in the first one, you're you're there for the story and not so much the lightsaber fight. Which is why I like it better than the second one, because the second one you are there for the lightsaber fight. And the lightsaber fight is shitty. Oh, but the story in the second one is fucking amazing, though. It's it's literally the best out of the three. It's certainly like the best told, I I think. But that 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 is, of course, just my opinion. We still gotta do the prequels. Oh yeah, we, we do. I still, I I tried to watch the first one, and I just I couldn't sit through more than fifteen minutes of it. It was fucking bad. Yeah, it's it's got bad acting all through that shit, but it's also it's got some really really great moments. And to be honest, you know, Watto... the only this is gonna be a horrible opinion to Star Wars fans. I'm about to get crucified for this, but the only redeeming thing in that first 20 minutes was Jar Jar. Uh, oh, I am getting I the fucking wood. I, I am feel getting it the coming. screws. <laughs> I am getting the fucking rope. I am building a fucking cross. Yeah, like not even because of your. I mean, just oh god, I hate you so much, and I I do want to crucify you in the middle of a field and leave you for dead now. Ugh, no. Disgusting. R Riley, shame. Shame, shame, shame on you for that take. I mean, we all God. love Jar Jar. I assume he would have overstayed his welcome, but for that... That first 20 minutes, it was like, oh, yeah, I've seen those videos, and the videos that Jar Jar is a secret Sith, they're almost convincing, 
but then you look at the Gungan race and you think to yourself, there's no way any of them can actually pull. But yeah, first of all, you can't call him like. Let's let's be real. He's not a Sith. Sith is a race. All right. Let's look at that. <laughs> yeah, no, let's Sith. not call him a Sith. The Sith, no, the Sith are a race. No, the, the Sith are. Uh, it is well, it is a, it is a race, but is it, it seems to be also a title. Sith, just what the dark side is called. That's what I was. Yeah, calling. but those people are wrong. It's kind anyone of like who's G- like a full-blooded, yeah, anyone who's a full-blooded Sith would not let let anyone call themselves a Sith. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, because there's been Sith wars that sort of like that was one of the reasons why it started, like Sith civil wars in the uh, Star or the Star Wars uh, uh, lore are really fucking cool. But another another memory to get off of Star Wars because we've been on this tangent for a hot minute. Another memory to get off of sucking uh, the co-host. Day for a minute the guests <laughs> a lot of the guests that i've uh gotten to work with and meet through the mocast they're really cool people people like you know cripple jesus he's really funny and cool and i like doing stuff with him asterios mm-hmm. of course that's an it's an honor to be on in the same room as that guy and then you know definitely definitely then you know b the the entertainer formerly known as digi uh I got to meet her through this show properly, at least we've had interactions in the past, but we did a, she was on this podcast and we sang white ranger tiger power together. And I, that's something I'll never forget. <laughs> yeah. It, that was a, uh, that that was really unexpected. Cause like a, it was a, it was a real uh, pleasure uh, having uh, her on, on the show. Uh, cause I, I, cause I was a huge, huge fan of the PCP podcast and, I thought to myself, that, that was actually one of the reasons. Uh, well, of course, like the Dick Show, uh, the uh, biggest problem in the universe, and uh, 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 the loudest podcast. You know, th- those were like sort of the three big reasons uh, that I got in the, got into uh, podcasting. That you know, I think it's a Prairie, Prairie Home Companion, uh, AM radio, and uh, talk radio and stuff like that. Because uh, Coast to Coast AM with George Nori, Ian Punnett, and uh, 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 Art Bell. Those are some of the big reasons I also wanted to get into broadcasting. Unfortunately, the internet happened, and broadcasting is really sort of a niche thing that, unless you're Art Bell or George Nori, you're probably not going to get into. I mean, yeah, pardon me, I interrupted you though. Actually, uh, I I think I was mostly yeah. Those are the three big ones. Like we we've, we've had plenty of guests on this show, like you know. Paul, he's here right now. KLOK, uh, Clock uh, Radio. <laughs> uh, Ryoku. Uh, just so many cool guests we've had on this show. Uh, obviously, from my own internet corner, we had Jason on an episode, and that was good. He's my he's my homie. He's my dog. Um, and Mo, you actually brought up something kind of interesting that I would like to you know pose to the room, which you already answered it, but if you have any further clarification you want to give and i want to hear robin's answer and maybe paul's answer too if he has one how did you uh get into podcasting in general uh robin you want to go ahead and start and i guess i'll just go last yeah i mean i just started podcasting because i've known riley ase riley not not uh not this riley Other yeah riley the one with his name that's spelled right. The one, yeah, the uh, Riley spelled correctly. Yeah, no, I've known him since we were both like eleven or something, and he he got into podcasting. So I was like, cool, I guess I'll do a thing and start joining stuff. That's pretty much the whole story. I didn't. I, it's not like I was like a Dick Show fan or anything. Yeah, Riley was yeah, a Dick yeah. Show fan. I've never watched the Dick Show in my life. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll go ahead and say this: since I started getting into podcasting and like, uh, and getting into the communities and getting a little bit, uh, I guess, deeply involved with them, uh, you know, I got to meet people like you know Rem Dickman and uh, uh, who are these podcasts and and all these uh, 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 Jesse, aka God. Uh, Cameron Clark also, d- despite like our differences, you know, the Cameron Clark show was one of my favorite shows, and the the Cripple Cast was really oh, fucking the Cameron cool Clark too. show. The, I, I miss the Cameron Clark show. Those are the good days of Cameron Clark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh uh, yeah, like uh, uh, some of the, some of the better episodes of like uh, of the, uh, on the Cameron Clark show were like fucking phenomenal because I I had my first like real big fucking spurg out on on that fucking show because I was. Do you watch I his was, new show? Uh, uh, the the Viz, he was the, in the the, Viz the, the, the Void Gazers Gazers. gazers. The void Gazers Gazers. I haven't watched that yet. <laughs> yeah, I, I it's started... really good. They all sit in VR chat and watch Void Gazers. <laughs> yeah, I, I I fucking love that gimmick already because I'm a huge fan of VR chat. So now I'm already like super super into it. And I, I watched about 45 minutes of it, and then like most big long videos, I kind of fucking forget about it for a few days. And I think to myself, why am I watching this shit again? You know, for any of these other types of videos. And I just speaking exit of Mo out. forgetting about videos, did you ever start watching uh, John Era Game Grumps Mo? That thing I recommended to you. Two oh ago you God, I've forgotten completely. It's been more than two months. I gotta say, yeah, I think that was like five, six months ago. I fucking completely uh, forgot. Didn't he about say that, that black people were gonna degrade the gene pool of the United States? Look, let's not talk about the things that the silly John Tron man said about racism. Let's just enjoy the. This- Silly funnies. To be fair, Destiny has a has a way of like bringing out some of the worst in some people, including Destiny himself. <laughs> and it's obvious right. that it's obvious that John doesn't stand behind those things anymore. Like he's just a is guy. It? John is just a man. Okay. He, he just doesn't say anything politicsy anymore. Yeah. It's not really yeah, obvious. Like he... he doesn't stand by it. He just doesn't say it. Yeah, he's he's learned to hide his power level. So like all see. racism, <laughs> the best way to get away with it is to not talk about it. What, whatever. Yeah, man, pretty much. Everybody does it. They just don't talk about it. It's like jerking off. That's exact. So when uh, when we were kids, Mo's brother Jason sounded like Froggy from uh, Little Rascals. <laughs> <laughs> he still kind of does. <laughs> so it, it, Mo's whole family like the three brothers uh, when we were growing up like Mo sounded normal <laughs> but his his first little brother sounded like this and then their littlest little brother he sounded like this <laughs> so hanging out with well, gee, Mo was Mo. Like, it was like being on a really weird fucking kids show because Mo was like Oh, hey guys, <laughs> why don't you come over to my house? And then his Mo brother Diggity Jason. Was and the like, Diggity Family, the, the hit new show yeah. on Nick Jr. I thought that was Mo. <laughs> oh shit, I thought there was two of you. Ugh. Jesus, back in those days. Like, I, sometimes I think back to those days. I want to fucking like run into traffic head first with my mouth open. Well, <sighs> when you feel like that, Mo, it's good to get a grip. At fade grips, not sure. <laughs> Use promo code <laughs> MoDiggity for fifteen percent off your order. Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. The, the, now that's now that's one thing I kind of regret getting into because I thought I was like, all right, got me a sponsor, and then I sort of didn't think to myself, wait a minute, I had to buy something for them to say that I was, and then no one bought my shit, and then because like you know, I don't even know where my fucking those grips are. I know that I have a pair on my golden Xbox controller, but no, oh yeah. You're I really selling it right else. now. Honestly, yeah. um, I, I personally found the uh, PlayStation 4 controller skins to be quite uh, smelly. Smelly? <laughs> <laughs> so basically what Fade Grips does clearly is they just, uh, they just run some cheap injection molding press somewhere in China probably. And uh, just throw whatever crap they can into it. Because when I, I took a piece of the plastic uh, at my last job, and we had a, an infrared Fourier transfer whoop de doop spectrometer. And it would tell you what was in the any plastic that you put on its beam. And when I put that thing on there, it was like four different kinds of plastic. Jesus Christ, really? Yeah. So, it's like a sea turtle's nightmare. Yeah, yeah, basically. Well, because we used to be able to just sell all our crap to China. We'd just cram whatever bullshit we could into a container and ship it overseas, and they would turn it into trash bags and dildos. <laughs> I see. Wonderful and... world of plastics. Brought to you uh... by Mo Diggity. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to Mo Diggly dot jizz. <laughs> Mo Diggly dot jizz. <laughs> Is Mo shaves his butthole for charity dot com still a thing? Uh, I actually defaulted on all my subscriptions because I lost my job and I just quit paying stuff even though I had <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I still had money, but it was just like, eh, I just quit paying that bill, fuck them. It was like, well, I could eat, but Mo shaves his butthole for charity.com and has a payment due and, uh, <laughs> you know, let's just keep it, let's keep no it going. tonight. Let's keep well, the fucking... The, the real problem is that I was hosting with Ionos, which used to be one and one. And evidently with them, if you're like two days late on your invoice, they don't give a fuck. They throw that shit in collections and then you can't even pay it on their website anymore. Damn. So I'm going to let it hang out in collections until I only own 40 bucks, pay it off, and then go start another account. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, I don't know, Paul, do you have at all a story about getting into podcasting or are you just that guy who's on the mocast sometimes I, i'm really honestly i i usually uh like drop all my spaghetti whenever i'm in a position to talk to people so uh i don't really participate too often but i listen to a lot of podcasts and mo and i used to pretend like that whole okay okay clock radio i mean i had hours and hours and hours of tapes of mo and i just wandering around um we would have either an Emerson or a, a Magnavox boombox, one of those AM, FM cassette CD player boomboxes. And on a lot of them, the left speaker acted as a microphone, even though it wasn't always advertised that way, just because of the way that, you know, sound recording devices work. And so we would wander around Palacios smoking cheap dirt weed and hoping that we would run into somebody who would give us booze. And in the meantime, we would record dumb shit on these audio cassettes. So we had hours and hours. We called it the Mo Ramsey Metroplex. There were like seven or eight tapes in that series. Yeah, I was about to say, do, is there any chance these make their way onto the internet, the fucking Mo tapes? Yes. So <laughs> this, this one tape that I've got, I actually have uh, our friend Micah. Uh, he sent me a USB tape deck and a couple of old cassettes and like i have this one which is uh me and mo hanging out with some people at micah's house uh recording ourselves on the karaoke machine um and then one of the tapes which i don't understand how this dude wound up with it but uh on one side it's the rubberneck album by toadies and on the other side it's my mom's math class <laughs> oh jesus so it's like, it's really fucking weird. And, you know, there's spots on the tape where over time, like it's warped. And there was a spot on the tape where it was flipped upside down. So you'd be listening to a song and in the middle of it, it's just. And it's a math class, but going backwards. But it sounds like some kind of weird demonic incantation. Mm hmm. Which is just what a math class sounds like. Yeah, yeah. You just reverse it, and then you're like, "Whoa, I see God." Wait, you mean math teachers don't talk in reverse like demons? I thought they were doing that the whole time. <laughs> I think you have what's called schizophrenia. <laughs> yeah, you, you might. Be and it's not the fun kind. <laughs> the fun kind of schizophrenia. Yeah. Well, like my grandpa Larry, he had schizophrenia, and he would do cool stuff like. Put a pot of beans on, only there would be no water or beans in the pot, so it'd just be a pot sitting on the stove, glowing red hot. When I came home from school, you want some oh, dear beans, God. Paul? Or, that's exactly what he would say. I'd come home because one day I came home and I was hungry, so I made some beans. And so then when I would come home from school, hey, Paul, you hungry? I put some beans on, and then it was like Russian roulette, you know. Did he put the beans with no sometimes water? Sometimes there would be beans. Yeah, sometimes there was beans, but most of the time it was he did like one or two steps towards making the beans and then sat down to have a cigarette and went to whatever fucking space station he would go to when he would <laughs> out. He would have, shredding his beans. Dude, he would sit there, he'd light a cigarette, and you could tell how long it had been since he went on one of his brain adventures because he would light a cigarette <laughs> And then he'd just sit there and you'd see like 
half the cigarette was just ashes and he's sitting there staring at the TV and the TV's not on. But he's watching the shit out of whatever it is. It's the best thing he's ever watched. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he wouldn't even do shit like go wash his underwear in the bathtub. We had a washing machine and a dryer, but he would go wash his underwear in the bathtub. And uh like hand wash? Like yeah, did he have like a washing back. board or no no he'd just fucking soak them and wring them out. <laughs> and uh this one time so you know, growing up white trash palacious, right? We had a sink in our bathroom, but my dad never bothered to figure out whether it was leaking from the the uh water line feeding the faucet or if it was leaking from the drain. So our solution was we just didn't use it. And everybody in the house knew that, but Grandpa Larry didn't. So they told him that the sink was busted. Don't use it. So what he did was he filled up his bowl of water in the bathtub to shave and then dumped the water down the sink. And so he he did this a couple of times before anybody noticed because then water started flowing out of the cabinets. And so my parents had a potted plant in the sink in the bathroom for years after that, just in case Grandpa Larry forgot that the sink was unusable. So that's what I mean when I say the fun kind of schizophrenia. Okay, good, good. I'm glad we figured that out. (laughs) Tell tell my pal podcast origin story because i think we're getting a little up up there in terms of time now um so for me it was very much obvious the the dick show and shit came later for me it was really uh, this the dick show and shit is what pushed me into this type of podcasting but what really lit the spark for me originally was i used to frequent twitch like a whole lot more than i do now and sometimes I would just, like, go into different uh, categories of games that I liked and just pick someone. And one of those times, the someone that I picked was uh, Anna from the podcast Blast Burn Radio. She was doing a Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke, and I popped in, and she told me about the podcast. And I knew – I didn't really even know what a podcast was. Like, I, I understood the general concept, I guess. And, like, I had only ever heard of – somebody listening to a podcast as like something to help them fall asleep like that was the only context in which i had heard about a podcast (laughs) and i ended up listening to blast burn radio which is a pokemon podcast where they're doing nuzlocks of all the pokemon games and i really fucking enjoyed it and that's that was the first podcast i really liked and that pushed me to you know dip my toes into the water myself because i was like they can do that thing i can also do that thing and for a while it was real shitty like you go back and listen to some of my first works they (laughs) not not the best but i'd say i've gotten at least slightly better than i was at least a little bit but yeah that's how i got in the podcast was through uh blast burn radio and eventually like i'd get i i got into podcasts i listened to random ass like Mostly Pokemon shit, and then I discovered fucking uh, Monkey Jones, and I listened to one of his podcasts, and that eventually led me down the rabbit hole to the Dick Show and Biggest Problem, and through that rabbit hole, I found Mo, and here we are. Yay! You fell down the hole and got me, and I told you. Hey, what's up, buddy? You down here in the hole, too? Yeah, I've been down We're here for a while now. Yeah. That's what always surprises me is all the all the random-ass people that Mo knows. Because my ex-wife, her new baby daddy, went to the Art Institute with Mo. So the, even that, and that was years before I had ever met this dude. And so I start telling stories about this guy named Mo that I know. And he's like, wait, you mean, you you talk about Mo like, and uh, God, who was that guy that did cartoons that you hung out with, Mo? What was his name? Oh, Ricky something? Ricky Ray? Yeah, Ricky Ray. Yeah. So if you guys don't know this, Mo actually has a, a, a voice acting role under his belt uh, where he played a fictional version of himself <laughs> and he made some oh, choice no. comments. Oh no, that that was oh, no, no, that, no. that wasn't me. That was uh, uh, like another character. We never got me uh, in this. I was in his uh, college, his poorly put together college movie 
uh, where I played a, a character called Cyber Jesus. See, uh, and Cyber Jesus was supposed to come back for the second coming, but when he touched down on Earth, he was abducted by a, a mad scientist and brainwashed into becoming Cyber Jesus, and he was hell bent on the destruction of the human race. It's the plot of Cyberpunk 2077, I think. But better and cheaper looking, but still better looking also. <laughs> hey, we go ahead, uh, Paul. Oh, no, that, that was about as far as I was going with that. I started oh, okay. doing something else and forgot my train of thought. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, like he, he was. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really lucky that he, that pr is probably off of the Internet forever. Because I would get like bitched at, and because like it, it, see, Ricky was really, really insistent that like we go with the script as written, and then we couldn't deviate from that because he was you know an artist and an animator, and he was in the animation and shit. So there was no deviation because to do that would throw the whole fucking thing off. But he was he was very insistent that we all follow the script for his little uh, art project. And, you know, it was uh, back in the day, and it was a different time back then. So, yeah, Ricky was a little nuts, too. Ah, some nice little uh, sound of silence right there. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. That awkward moment where everyone's trying to figure out who this Ricky Ray guy is so they can hear Mo drop a hard RN bomb. Oh uh, yeah, cause, like that was a, yeah, because that was the thing. Like he insisted, like that was pretty much it. Like uh, that was the big joke was I say the n word. I'm like, do we maybe we could like say another joke or, or what's something the, what's like that? What's the n word again, Mo? I forgot what that word uh, was. Uh, ninny nincompoop. Like, what word is it? <laughs> oh, what's wrong with that? No. Hey, <laughs> those are the n words. It's all what's of them. <sighs> Anyway, we're at one fifty-five, and I would kind of want to—I kind of want to wrap this up because my ass and legs are getting sore, and I need a good stretching. <laughs> you, you heard it here first, you folks. Mo's ass is getting sore. Getting yeah, sore. That, that's exactly—that's exactly what that's supposed. Did you to run be. out of hemorrhoid cream? No, my no, I still have some around. To him. I still have some around me. Who's been so, watching uh, Billy Harrington videos? Who's Billy Recipes. Harrington? Aniki. Oh, what Temple OS? Him? No, no, no. That's Terry Davis. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, that's fuck. a different guy. Oh, that's Jesus. Different... Yeah, that's a he. Billy he... Harrington's the gay porn star. Yeah, from all the Gachi Muchi <laughs> videos. Oh, okay, okay. Like the videos oh, wait, with the, like the, if the, you've seen the videos, the black where... dude with the with the fucking dude with the rag on his head. No, no, no. Billy Harrington was the big muscular white dude who somehow always wound up wrestling somebody before butt fucking them. <laughs> it's like it must have been in his contract. Like, okay, I'm down to do anything, but here's here's the deal. You have to let me here's wrestle this guy in briefs. Yeah, that was like his that was <laughs> that was in his like all his riders for his touring. Like I have to be able to wrestle somebody in my tidy whities at least once. And it's like this musicless like wrestling scene, of just <laughs> yeah. slapping. Yes. <laughs> and it's always, and, and it's always it's like like the like this dude walks into a, a dressing room at a gym wearing bondage gear, and he's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and Billy Harrington's just sitting in a corner, uh, like creepily watching him. I'll show you who's the boss of this gym. Ah, oh, that's fucking disgusting. It's almost as bad as this one. You heard it here first. Gay sex is fucking disgusting. Mo diggity says it all. <laughs> he's not. He's not scared of the LGBTQ plus people. He thinks they're gross. I'll take he's you all down. Get you to show you all some Texas size conservatism. <laughs> And all that stuff that I don't believe in at all. <laughs> Mo, just, saved it. Mo just thinks sex is gross. We'll just get that out there. No, I think uh, it's awesome. Yeah. I don't have you it just... too often, and I wish I did, but you know. You know. <laughs> but you know, it's kind of like whatever. It's like when a kid wants to look cool, and so they say they like the taste of beer, and you give them a beer, and they fucking puke. That's what happens when Mo tries they to take happen. one sip and then like a giant <laughs> chug of soda. Disgusting. 
Yeah. It's like Groundhog Day. Like Mo Mo doesn't even know if he's gonna have sex. He he gets the girl home and she's butt naked, with spread eagle on the bed, and he's still gotta go to the bathroom and be like, All right, chub chub, she coming out. Okay, no, that's never happened once before in my fucking life. Look, the effects are does stuff to your body. You're right. It's 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 oh. never happened once. It's happened no. multiple times. No, I, I I've never like dude. Uh, when I was on Effexor, this is kind of the, another reason why I'm sort of glad I got off Effexor. Is like I had no libido like whatsoever, and I started getting it, it started getting real real weird. Like I kind of need those thoughts a little bit to remind me that I'm a guy, and all that stuff, and you know blah oh, blah yeah. blah. But like, dude, it, it makes me feel like. Well, it makes me feel like I'm being reprogrammed into something like weirder. Like I, I but if I don't have like you know like the the desire to like mate, at least that basic desire to mate, it made it made me feel fucking weird, and I, I couldn't like quite uh, reconcile that aspect of that medication when I was taking it. Yeah, when I first started taking Zoloft, I didn't know that it would make it harder to bust and they put me on like 200 milligrams so i i just went about my normal sailorly business you know it, mm -hmm. uh, so that was a very very confusing moment in time when i was just like it's like man it's been like 30 minutes and i'm just still sitting here you know <laughs> <laughs> but then it became fun because then i could watch porn without getting aroused and then porn became a hundred times funnier because if if oh, you're not, man. I'm telling you, dude. If you watch porn without any intent to like beat off and then cry in shame, uh, <laughs> I mean, there's so there's so much comedy gold in porno. Oh no, you don't even. Oh my fucking god, I. Oh, big brother, my hand stuck in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, but sweet it's like. Pockets. No, I I watched like this one. Where like at the at the beginning before any of the sex stuff started, the fucking the stepsister and stepbrother obviously because that's the only shit that's on the internet nowadays had an argument about voting and it was the stupidest shit. It was so like poorly written and poorly acted, and it was just so funny. My favorite, so honestly, like the modern stuff, they try to have a story, like they. I think the only thing that's been, not necessary, like the modern porn, what they have managed to do is like they shaved off because the old porn from the 80s, the kind of shit that me and Mo were stealing from Mo's dad was, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like there'd be like 30 minutes of setup where it's like the, the, the ladies at home deciding what she's going to pick up at the grocery store. And then she goes to the grocery store and goes shopping, and you're sitting there like, "What the fuck is all like, this?" Dude, and like, what am I going to see? Some dick? Like, you're like sitting there, dick in the yeah. hand, like, "What's going well, on?" So, so Mo and I, when like, the boobies uh, come. Yeah, we we had uh, we had this one video. Um, one of his brother's friends stole some porn tapes out of the 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 like attic over the garage, uh, out of their dad's box, right, and the tapes had been in the Texas heat for so long that a lot of them were melted together. But we found one where the tape, like the spool would actually spin. So I took apart a VHS copy of ET and we <laughs> spliced them together. <laughs> and we, you know, we're like, all right, we can get to watch some porn. Cause you know, this is like 1994. Uh, no, it would have been 1996 or seven. Because I was only 11 in 1994. I was still finding porno magazines and ditches and stuff back then. Anyway, Out in the woods. Yeah. Well, no, like, for some reason, the, the little shithole town that we grew up in, like, I shit you not, probably to this day, you walk down certain streets, you will find, like, Xerox copies of pages of porno magazines for no good goddamn reason in the ditch. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, a few. What yeah. was it, Mo? It was a few good men. No, a few good dicks or something like that. And it I really don't... looked like it looked like budget. That, I mean, it shot directly on VHS. Like, you remember? Yeah, uh, like uh, well, no, not not really at the moment. But I'll say this: I remember that when you were you called. All right, so 
Hold on one sec. Burp. Yeah, the only downside of drinking like sparkling Ozaka or water is that makes you fucking gassy and burpy and shit. But there was a time where uh, this one time fucking Paul calls me out of the blue, goes, Mo, you got to come over to my house right now. You just got to come over. Like, come on, man. Just convince your mom. Like, tell him whatever you need to tell her to so you can go to my fucking house. I'm like, all right, fine. Fuck it. So I successfully gained permission uh, to go to my buddy Paul's house. And I had to walk there because no one's going to give me a ride there. And I'm walking over there. I finally get over there. And him and his brother were in Paul's room. And then the first thing I see as he's opening a door is, bam! He freaking opens up this freaking magazine. And it's like a pair of tits. And he goes, Mo, we were dumpster diving, right? And we oh, found yes. like and we found a bunch of fucking unopened water uh, uh, wine coolers and at least 50 pounds worth of porno mags. Yes. We found a couple of tapes, but they didn't work. But we got all these fucking porno magazines. Oh, my God, yes. So, yeah, that, that was kind of what life was like in like yeah. a small town America back in like the mid, mid to late 90s at that yeah. point. If, if you wanted booze and titty magazines, you had to be willing to dig through the garbage at the car wash. Yeah, because the internet was like sort of like still a real fucking new thing. Now, if we were in the cities, I'm really, really sure that our pornography uh, collection would have, uh, you know, been much, much more extensive. But we we barely had fucking. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Did you fucking fart on your goddamn mic? <laughs> I told you I haven't tested it out yet. I got to break it in. Ah, oh, just fucking disgusting. <laughs> it's got a pop filter, so... <laughs> uh, it didn't work. At least I don't smell it, you know, which is good for me. But yeah, yeah, well, like, it, back in our back in our podunk little fucking town, we barely uh, could, like, fathom a uh, fucking 56k fucking modem internet. And we, we'd get excited fucking... if we got, like, what, 44.8? Yeah, 44.8 or the rare 50. You know, the, the, like we would like connect and disconnect over and over again so we would get a decent connection. And sometimes it would take like 20, 30 fucking minutes to uh, to get that connection. But, you know, by God, we 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 are fucking bound and determined to get a decent fucking phone line connection to the Internet. And it took like years and years and years like if we like me. and Paul, <laughs> Yeah. It, <laughs> yeah, exactly that. Like Paul and I, like we we moved out of fucking town, and like when we finally came back, like about like ten or eleven years later, we we st or like maybe like uh, about five six years, we started hearing rumors that Palacios was getting a, a high speed quote unquote internet. And yeah. What it, what, what it was, <laughs> what it was was an application that you can put on your fifty six k modem internet. <laughs> To give yes. you the appearance and the feel of high speed internet. So you yes. would get like web pages fast, like you would on cable or DSL, but you would get fucked if you tried to watch any kind of movie or, or like download anything whatsoever. Like you were still waiting like 25, 30 minutes for a song to download. Well, it was like that. Um, I, I know that, I know that you're, uh, not like a Tim and Eric super fan, but there's 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 a sketch on an episode where they do the uh, the internet, where it's the internet on a CD ROM, and that's kind of like that was the kind of shit that we would look forward to in Palacios. Was like we visited all the top web pages and saved them on a CD, so you don't have to. Hmm. Yeah, like the day that I had to put AOL on my fucking uh, on my computer when I was in college because we could <laughs> because the college would not allow us to go get our own internet like they'd bitch at us if we tried to do anything like that so they told us to just use AOL and uh so I had to put AOL on there man it was like the most heartbreaking fucking thing that I I've ever seen it took forever to un unclog uh AOL from my fucking system yeah, uh, when it, I first installed it, it would install like seven or eight different pieces of shit software, like uh, like a virtual uh, virtual answering machine, and you know, uh, 
uh, custom mail readers and <laughs> desktop backgrounds and shit. Mm -hmm. It's like shit that you would never ever fucking use, but you know, by God, it, it fucking came on there, and there's not a fucking thing you can do about it. All right, y'all. Uh, I want to go ahead and get on out of here. Uh, uh, Robin Riley. Uh, any of y'all got any final thoughts for this, the fiftieth episode? Robin, uh, well, I guess we'll start with you. Well, I like coming on here every week. It's a lot of fun. Every week. I like that we don't just. Last time we did that. Every week that we do it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love every week that we do this episode. That, that's that's much better. Yeah, every every week that we decide to do this, I like coming on here. Uh, it's just nice not having to stick to the same theme like most podcasts. Where yeah, you're just yeah, like yeah. talking about Pokemon every week, or not that I'm talking about anything hey. specific. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna invite you on that show. Now I won't because you were mean about it. Oh, I'm gonna take my Charizard and leave. Yeah. Fuck Charizard. The I worst Gen One starter. Fucker. Yeah, exact. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> I like Charizard. He's the only Pokemon I, I mean, really actually right. All know three anything of them about. are pretty cool, but Charizard sucks out of the three. Bulbasaur is the best. Of course. Bulbasaur. Squirtle and Charmander are tied for worst. <laughs> wow. I actually <laughs> really like Squirtle, too. It's just Charmander that I'm not fond of. We yeah. don't take kindly to no water types around here, boy. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, so, Paul, do you have anything you'd like to say? I uh, I trained a, an AI model with some of my farts and have made music with it. And it sounds like poop. That's okay, disgusting. Wow. Great. <laughs> all right, Riley. What are your final thoughts? Do you if you have any? Here's the 50 more, motherfuckers! Mo fuck Cash yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. We're going to leave this podcast to our children and our children's children. There will be generations of the Mo Cash. Yes, Thousands and millions of episodes. I'm not having kids, fuck that. <laughs> I have a son and he would just come on and basically say, Mo's fat, he smells like balls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pretty much what he would yeah. do. And then, and then old man Mo with his fucking cane is like, you darn kids. Get off my fat. podcast. <laughs> Get off my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Notice how Mo didn't protest the smelly. <laughs> the, no, 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 no. And then Mo will the start talking about, uh, like, oh, and then Mo will start talking about the Mexican phase and I'll be like, oh, Hey, Mo, no, it was like to bed. No, it's take like, your meds, Mo. Come no, on. Not, the, all right, so the Mexican phase in America wasn't a bad fucking thing. It was. It was like literally like this is how it was, right? It was everyone bought a shirt that says El Vato Loco, and it had like a fucking it had like a Mexican dude's out, out black outline of like his his head, a hat, his shades, and a mustache. But there it feels like no a Texas mouth. thing. Oh, yeah. I imagine I, I imagine this phase is probably why the show El Tigre existed on Nickelodeon. Uh, probably. It was a bunch of Mexican superheroes. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, I blame Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> yeah, damn him and his Latino heat. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I, I guess I'll go last for parting thoughts. Uh... Well, like I said, uh, like Riley said, fucking here's the 50 more. And uh, hopefully our show stands the test of time. Maybe we'll become a cult hit or something. And we'll get like a, we'll get like, you know, Plan 9 from outer space, you know, levels of uh, popular later on down, uh, down the road. So here's to everyone. And here's to another 50. Thanks for uh, listening. And I appreciate y'all. Head on over to Fade Grips not Store and use promo code Modigan. Yeah, do, do not go to do, do not go to do not go to Fade Grips at all. Fuck Fade Grips. Fuck Don't forget Fade to Grips. like and subscribe at Twitch.tv/slash Modigan.
Hey, I'm about to do my fucking plugs here in a second, mister. You let me fucking do that. I love tired of stuff on That's one last thing about, I love about the MoCast is the memes, that which the, the big brunt of which is just us making fun of Mo for plugging his shit. <laughs> <laughs> just mocks Mo. That's like the theme of the podcast. Yeah, it's just like shit on Mo for an hour and a half. That's the new name of the podcast. That's shit on Mo for an hour and a half. Everybody wonders why it doesn't happen every week, and Mo's just like, I just don't have the emotional stability to put up with this right now. I just can't right now, man. I just gotta have a break. I need <laughs> episode a five. Man. Yeah, episode five was really over the line, man. I don't think I didn't want to ever remember that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Robin, where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter at Inside Alloy. And then you can find me on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Inside Alloy. I've been, pl- I've been playing some uh, Car Mechanic Simulator. Car Mechanic Simulator? What was that game we played together at the middle of the night when I was half asleep? The Talos Principle. We should go back to that when I'm not half dead. Yeah, I was I was dreaming car mechanic simulator earlier and Tomas came in and was like, This isn't the taco principle. <laughs> yeah, the, me and you all that's ever on his mind is food. So. Me and you should pick a time where I'm not fucking flirting with the sleep gods and actually have a good stream. Yeah, that'd be fun. Alright, uh Riley, where can they find you at? You can find me on Twitter at Riley Tweet. You can find me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Riley Streams. You can find me on YouTube as Riley Exclamation Point. You can find uh, my other podcast type productions, such as Pixels, Polygons, and Fun, which is available wherever podcasts are found. Pokemon Variety Hour, which is available on Spotify, Stitcher, or Apple Podcasts, and Robin's not allowed to come on it because she's mean. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the Riley Podcast Mega Feed which has a whole variety of shows that I just make for funsies. And that, that's available on Spotify, Stitcher, Apple Podcast as well. And that's pretty much it. All right, all right. And, of course, you all can find me at twitch.tv slash modiggity. And you can find me at modiggity42 on YouTube and Instagram. You can check out my uh my gaming channel on YouTube, Mo Side Gaming. gaming. Yeah, Mo Side Gaming. <laughs> uh, you can check me out at uh, Anchor.fm slash the MoCast. And also, you can find Paul sucks Harry mo, Dick at mo, gmail.com. Mo dot rant. Mo mo dot. Mo dot rant. And recently, I branched out in TikTok, so you can find me at TikTok.com at Moside Gaming. Listen, go check me there. out. Go check all my shit out. Oh, and, and bit shoot at the mo. Uh, uh, what was the fucking bit shoot? I don't have some my mo. fucking bit shoot thing some, on here. Some mo. I should have. Yeah, some variation of mo. It's like with Sipple and Ollie. If you want to find mo, just pick up your phone and scream. Oh yeah, it's a. Uh, uh, yeah, bitshoot.com forward slash uh, Mo Diggity. Find Mo Just Diggity. Look up Mo pick Diggity. up your phone, dial 911. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm not yes. going to bring that joke any further. Yeah, yeah d- don't. Because that'll, <laughs> fuck- that'll destroy me. Uh... Anyway, so that's it. I'm pretty good. And uh, yeah, time to hit the proverbial hay, as they say. Thanks for listening, everyone. Thanks uh, to our guests, Asterios and, of course, Paul. Modiakity. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Riley, for coming on and finally doing this podcast. And uh, we'll catch you on the next episode. Every week from now on. (laughs) Don't eat too many hot dogs. We'll we'll try to bring back the weekly thing because, you know, I do miss doing this weekly. All right. That's it. Ta-ta, everyone. Until next time. Ta-ta again. Good night. (sighs) Oh, fuck. But that was Craig leaving. It was Paul leaving.